Hey guys, here's the reason why you should watch this week's Patreon episode. Take it away, Fez. We just learned a lot of things in this spot, you guys. We prank call, we talk about the heat and his conquest, and yeah, definitely talk about Leo and conquest. Danny going in the hell. So this is amazing part. Wow. I don't like that you ended on that one. I don't like Jack. that you ended on that one. We've got a lot to cover on the podcast today. We do, we do. They try mm. to pop our boy. Then when we got that news live while we were filming a video, yeah, and we've got some stories regarding that. We've got Noah, formerly Ashley Transdale, who has detransitioned and returned to being a man. Yay. Congrats on your journey, girl. Even Matisse <laughs> is pumped about it. Why, everyone is pumped about it. You know what I mean? We are not everybody because Brooks and Natalia wanted to have a threesome with Ashley, with Ashley Transdale, and now <laughs> they're they're not. I don't think you're welcome anymore because you don't offer any sexual stimulation. Yeah, they right, don't. They right. don't want to have sex with <laughs> Noah, is it? Yeah, yeah, Noah. They don't yeah. want to touch Noah, dude. They wanted Ashley. <laughs> So I'm sorry about that. So those that's the two people who are unhappy about your D-trends. There are probably a lot of... I think if there's anything worse to the far left than like a, a white transphobe Republican, it's a trans person who, who became a woman and then came back. Yeah, Correct. They, yeah absolutely. Yeah, you they are those, a yeah. pariah. Yeah. You're like one of those videos of... Uh, it's like a bald... It looks like a bald dude, but it used to be a chicken. It's like, oh, I don't know what happened. All the all the hormone replacement therapy and the surgery. Like, I don't know. I, I'm not happy anymore. I, I'm just an ugly dude uh, now. And those videos of them breaking down. Have you watched some of those? Wait, I watched like what? Like a video of a trans person. A, a, just, a formerly yeah. trans person who's transitioned oh, back. back yes. Or is just unhappy. With or is just transition. unhappy or on the way back. Those are always like hidden by, you know, the, the Democrats. Yeah, of yeah. Course, but. I, I've seen those for sure. Some of them are pretty scary. They're very scary. Yeah, I feel like, like it's a lot worse for, for women that transition to become a man than they want to go back because for yeah. them, they just look yeah. like something else. Now you just kind of look like Dino, which... Yeah. yeah, I just look a little really young for my age. I feel like that's like you're into emo effect. music and shit too. I feel like to be to get pussy in the emo scene, like a little bit of estrogen is good. Yeah, honestly, uh, honestly, yeah. you could transition directly into like having sex with those like Mexican chicks that wear like Hot Topic. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> got to be your power zone. You could clean up. They're gonna be a little on the heavier side, one hundred percent. Like, but... oh, I like Deftones. Like, yeah. I'm a Deftones girl. You know, like I just <laughs> like I like new metal, and I just go to the punk shows. Those you need to have yeah. sex with as many of them as possible to prove to us you aren't still a woman. Correct. <laughs> and I go. I say go to the mosh pit of the event to try to find one. Too. That, that's how you got to prove you're not a woman anymore. Too is you got to mosh, and you got to yeah. be like the toughest dude in the mosh pit. You got to knock a guy out in the mosh pit. You got to. <laughs> you got to be the guy that's just goes overboard and just th swings right hands, uh -huh. but in a dance format. You got to go to a hardcore show. You got to go to a show by the band like Hoods or the Black Dahlia Murder, mm -hmm. and you just got to walk up to the biggest guy in the pit, and you just don't even make it a dance move because they're, they're right. slam dancing, Leo. Yeah. And theoretically, you could accidentally injure somebody in the pit, but I want Noah just to throw a right hand. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's the move. And as many people as possible should be watching you. I, I mean, last time I was in a mosh pit, like I was like, at first I was like, with the, I was still like trans or kind of trans. I was, like, your voice hasn't changed much. I need more masculinity out of your voice. <clears throat> Hello. That's better. Is that okay. better? Yeah. It's, uh, 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 yeah. It's so kinda. strange because I've just I've seen you in the chick get up for yeah. so long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That maybe my mind is, is putting that on him still. Yeah, I think so too. I um, you also, I think you said you wanted to blow Danny or something too. So that doesn't help. Wanted to what? You wanted to blow Danny. I think you said. No, that. no, I did so not. You did. once. Well, that. I, I, that was my character. I, oh, I don't know. I, I can, Ashley. I can say this. I can say this, Leo. I remember the moment. <laughs> Noah, formerly Ashley Transdale, helped us with the Bud Light video up in San yeah. Francisco, and we were talking, as we often do, mm -hmm. about anal sex. It yeah. was an anal sex digression. It happens often, and Noah said. And this is a quote, no, it's seared in my mind. <laughs> if you guys like anal so much, why don't you just fuck me? Yeah, yeah, that, that was said. <laughs> Maybe that was what, it was in my subconscious. That's what it was. I, I must have been stoned, because I don't, I don't remember saying and that. Then, but, uh, and then we did just get back from our dispensary. And then Leo went, well, because you got a, a uh, what'd you say? You got a Franken beans. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Which I I've did never heard that. you use that expression oh, yeah, before. No, it came How out. Many used it, so? it was just the nicest way to say that you had a penis. You know? <laughs> oh, oh. Franken beans. Yeah. Franken -beans. You got a Frank and Beans. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I hope that you, uh, that, that Dino the bigot doesn't mind that you are detransitioned, or uh, maybe he's 
pumped for you and will hang out with you. But I don't. Do you think he will? Do you think there's other going to be other people in your life that are going to maybe just judge you because you you did try to go trans once, or do you? Um, if anything, like it's usually like people that are more liberal that are like not happy that I detransitioned. Oh, yeah. correct. Yeah. Like some people have definitely distanced with themselves from me because I did sure. that. But um, that's like mostly like online people. It's hmm. it's like to the left if you detransition, it's like to the right like a, a guy who's trainer. a marine mm -hmm. who commits a war crime in Vietnam or, or you go like, AWOL. Like, like, yeah, I was yeah. I was a marine. Oh, you were a marine. You served. Thank you for your service. Well. I was discharged for raping a village woman. Okay. Mm. You're less than a... Like, there's a, a veteran, a non-veteran, and then there's a guy who rapes a chick in Da Nang. <laughs> so you're saying the left... <laughs> You're telling me that the left is is views detransitioners as basically deserters and rapists. Yes. Yeah, military rapists. Wow. I think that's not a stretch because it is so damaging to their way of life and right. to this propaganda that they're trying to spread throughout America that, yes, you are. I think the left would probably like a guy who raped a village woman at gunpoint in Iraq more than they like Noah Wright now a, a detransitioner yeah they probably have a nickname for you you know what i mean they call you probably hmm what's a good uh, latino like uh, a guy in in the latin world fez that has b betrayed someone he's like la malinche la malinche was the one that gave up all the all the you know all the secrets to cortez yes wow so yeah fez did not know that thank you thank you fez that was a good move to make the audience think you know stuff yes. just go yes <laughs> But anyway, you are uh, yeah, you're the, you're an enemy of the of the demos now. Oh, oh yeah, I mean since detransitioning, I definitely am like Trump twenty twenty four. Nice. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's a good way to reclaim your masculinity. Yeah, yeah I'm saying sure. heavy metal, muscle cars, pumping iron, fucking chicks. I want to see a Pamela well, believe, Anderson believe poster not, above I'm your bedroom door. Trying to join the Marines. You They're did. not going to take you. I, I'm like, in, I'm like in the process. You of like should come full circle. You should join the Marines and then rape somebody over. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I, so Noah, tell me a little bit. We want to get to some other topics. We're not going to grill you constantly on your transness. But when you detransitioned, what was that like to just stop estrogen cold turkey? You probably felt better. Um, a lot hornier. Like a lot hornier. Yeah. Um. That that was difficult. Um. Felt weird for like a month. Like when your hormones go wild, it just feels you, weird for a bit. Would you say that at any point your your mind maybe went to to Danny and and um in no. in, 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 a, in a sexual sense? No, no, no. Is there, no. you've never masturbated to Danny? No, 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 never. No. Okay. No. You wanted us to fuck you in the ass, but you won't masturbate to us. <laughs> I, I I mean I, I say things for the camera maybe. There was no camera on. Oh. I was high, probably, and uh -huh. I probably thought the camera mm -hmm. was on. Uh, you were high? Did it's the most seventh grade excuse. Yeah, no, I was high. I was high. <laughs> I, Ryan, you grabbed my tits. Ashley, come on. You know, I, I take I was, it a couple puffs. I was high. <laughs> I was high. <laughs> Things happen. I don't, I don't know who I was. Okay, this is your one time where you get to be honest right now. Did, yeah. Did Nico take you from behind at all? No. Okay. I, just, I was wondering. Cameraman Nico? Yeah, cameraman Nico. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, they were... They were Bonding. Mm. I don't want to stand. Yeah, we, we had a nice vibe in San Fran. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They might have fucked. <laughs> Maybe. Coming off Who the te the estrogen is that's the thing about this whole uh, trans healthcare thing is there's just no way it works. It's the idea that you could just take the other sex's hormones and pour them into the other person. Like, oh, you know what? I don't feel like putting gasoline in my Honda Accord. How about? Hawaiian punch mm. and then expect the vehicle to run. Are we mm. retarded? That's not science. No. So did you feel like shit when you were loading up on estrogen all the time? Um, yeah, I feel like a certain point, like while you're on it, it's like, because there's like changes, like in the, especially in the mental aspect, it is kind of exciting. But like, once you're on it for a prolonged period of time, it kind of just becomes miserable because your sex drive isn't there. Yeah. That just isn't how a male body should be. It's like, it's not the proper juice, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's just, yeah. It's Hawaiian punch in a Honda. Essentially, yeah. If you get a t-shirt, it should be a secret anti-trans shirt that says, Hawaiian punch in a Honda. <laughs> <laughs> if it's going to be like a, a guy with that accent, it should be uh, not a Honda, though, because they wouldn't drive a Japanese car. It's like our Let's Go Brandon. Yeah, you know? it's the anti-trans Let's Go Brandon. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like putting tea in a toy. I keep going with Japanese car. 
can't. Uh, never mind. Fez, I heard you got tricked by some fans. Guys, yes. guys, listen, just because I made an announcement that he, he is gullible and does get tricked doesn't mean that you guys need to be doing this every day. A guy already took a couple hours of his day, five hours of his day for this Long Beach debacle. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm scared to listen to this story now. Long Beach? It's going to upset me. Yeah. Oh, Fez yeah. went down. He got tricked into going to meeting up with a fan in Long Beach. Yeah. And because the guy was cute and Fez probably wanted the slob on his pole. Oh so yeah. Fez. And we're okay with that if that no. is the case. Fez took a five hours, probably more, out of his day to go meet up with somebody who was just a fake account. Who was a fan who right. was fucking with him. Correct. So this happened again. What happened, Fez? Okay. So this is all happened in, in, in my area. Okay. Since San Fernando. Mm -hmm. So, um, <clears> he <throat> this guy contacted me. He offered me a job interview okay. based on what Leo told him. And because in this, I had to call Leo and he, they confirmed with me that he never contacted anybody about a job interview. Mm -hmm. Can I see this guy's account? Yeah. Uh, I deleted him. Uh, so it's not there no more. I, unless you can see him again. Can you? <laughs> I'm actually not sure. Why are you laughing? What? <laughs> I, you can unblock that. You can person. unblock him. Okay. I mean, he, yeah. he thinks like we we do sorcery on the phone. Yeah, if we yeah. go to settings and we get to unblocked users or uh, just blocked users and unblock a motherfucker. That that reminds me that what he just presented right there reminds me of this one time with Nico when Nico first joined the channel and it was super nervous and jittery. He was talking to me about some dating situation. He's oh, like, God. "Ooh, it's kind of just like you know, if somebody is like, you know, it's hard to explain, but like if my girlfriend was like, you know what I mean." <laughs> I can tell you who it was, so it's some kind of rice, rice, Chris, something like that. I, you okay, gotta show me rice, Chris, rice, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe there's a man named Rice Chris out there. Not unblock, say, go I to your Bryce. Austin. <laughs> Austin, Chris. can you go to his blocked Dude. accounts and unblock this account? Dude, the guy's yeah. name was Bryce Chris. That is the <laughs> most obvious. Two first names is always fake. Yeah. That was yeah. why I always, I do one of my, uh, dude, one of my favorite ones was Bobby George, dude. Yeah, this is Bobby George. <laughs> I have two first names as my first and last. Yeah, that's always, dude, that's what, that's why you're fucking probably trans. Yeah, probably. You know I, mean? yeah, I thought it, it was fake. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're trying to unblock this character. Yeah, we so gotta Fez, see this is. you think Fez would be on high alert yeah, for these sorts of schemes, know, given what's happened not. to recently? He's been shamed publicly. It's taken a lot of time out of his days. Yeah. But no, he was ready, yeah. ready for one more little time-wasting operation. So since he's been blocked, unfortunately, we cannot access the messages. Oh. Which really sucks. He DM'd you on here, huh? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, there's not much we can see. Bryce Schmo is the guy's uh, name. But if you listen to Fez, Danny, <laughs> if you listen to Fez, the first thing he said, he was like, it was in my area. So this one, he was calculating the amount of time he was going to waste on this if but it was it fake. And he goes, at least it's in my area. So it's it's not two and a half hours commute time. So tell us what happened, Fez. Ow. <laughs> no, so guy. basically, uh, he offered me a job interview in, his, in, his, in San Fernando, and I went for it. I thought it could be a good idea. Might as well. I had nothing to lose. What was the body. job, yeah. Fess? What was the job? I think it was just customer service work. Okay, so it was something believable, because I, I hope, Fez, you know that, like, no one's going to offer you, like, a CEO position. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, basically sure, yeah. any job besides the worst job they have if, at the location. If you're them. making more than $15 an hour, you should be suspicious. <laughs> If the salary he is more, offer, he did offer ten dollars, ten dollars an hour for the services. That's okay, about that was under. Yeah, that's what you command. Accurate. Yeah, yeah. That's if it's under the table, I can see that. Yeah, you definitely, Fez. Yeah. You need to get your foot in the door with <laughs> an under minimum wage wage. Yeah, <laughs> Fez. I feel like Fez would work somewhere for like five dollars an hour and just never ask questions and like just find out ten I years didn't. down the line, like. What do you mean? Everybody I, make. I should make my research. I feel well, so let's dumb about let's it. let's run that back, Leo. He would yeah, yeah, work yeah. for five dollars under the table for two weeks, right. Until he had to fly home to Arkansas, yeah. Or there was a card tournament, yeah. And then he would quit the job, yeah. He, no, you should no. start interviews Speaking like this. About Fez. job ter uh, <laughs> job tournaments, card tournaments. Oh, you missed me, one today. <laughs> no, no, me and Austin were supposed to go to one, and you guys ruined it. Well, I'm sorry. We, okay. I think it's a good thing for both of your lives that you're missing <laughs> card You guys are bastards. <laughs> so, Fez, what happens? We'll talk about the card tournament. We'll have Austin wow, sit that down. that's crazy. Yeah. yeah he, I mean, he gets nasty when you deprive him of Pokemon. That's right. <laughs> the one thing he loves. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so, listen, Fez. Customer service. Mm -hmm. What 
were you serving these customers with? What was yeah, the product? That's the thing. I didn't know. That was all about what I wanted to do the interview in the first place because I wanted to know more. Okay. So, you, so you... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I'm, let it rip. Yeah, yeah, Leo, just, you know what I'm I gotta, thinking. I got to, yeah. Like, it's just when you, when you add, maybe like knowing what the job is, is like an important factor of a job interview, you know? Yeah. No, you're right. I, I fucked up in the department. Yes. <laughs> Wow, it's crazy that every lesson Fez learns, mm -hmm. he learns Backwards. through humiliation. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I think he's going to forget the lessons he learned two weeks ago mm -hmm. after he learns a new. I think Fez no, only no. has room for about two lessons in any given month. Yeah. So once he's got two lessons in his head, from like, don't go try to meet up with cute Latino guys in Long Beach. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Don't go to customer service job when you don't know the job. But uh -huh. he's going to learn those two, and he's going to forget yeah. the lesson that was don't show up to yeah. Brooks's house for wild goose chase Danny Mullen shoots. That was crazy. That was, yeah, remember that one? Yes, I did. <laughs> I think this is how his brain works, Danny. I think he, like, next week, a guy's going to offer him a security job without saying anything, and then he's going to be like, but Danny, you said a customer service. Yeah. You have to ask what the job is. Not security. Yeah. So it's just like every job title that he gets is a new way to scam. Yes, him. he's going to be... One, he would have to be 1,892 years old for him to learn every lesson Correct. that he actually needs to learn in this world. Correct, because it's one at a time. Like, yeah, like one other time, one of the, they're going to, yeah, he needs the identical situation to show up again to know it's a scam. Yes. And if it's not the identical situation, he's yes. screwed. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's just, it can be, everything can be there. Like a fake Danny Mullet account can yeah. be like, come film. Right. Come film right now. Uh, and also, here's yeah. a picture of me. Right. I, I've, I'm, a, I'm Latino. I got a nice haircut and I got a six pack. Right. And I got a customer service job to offer you. <laughs> but the job is in Oxnard. Right. So oh, I've never been scammed uh, in Oxnard before. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it starts all over again. So he goes to Oxnard, gets scammed, but he, now he's got that one covered. Yeah, he's so, got it. Know, he's got it. So, Fez. What uh, happened, Fez? I don't know, man. I lost in the sauce with that department. I really wanted. Why, why would somebody lost in the sauce? <laughs> what did he DM you and say? Like, how did he open it? I no, he literally legit said that. Oh, he based from Leo's uh, comments, he wanted to give me a job in his company. So, I don't know. I just really thought for real that was a real thing, even though they called Leo and told them, "Oh, man, this is fake." But I guess I was curious to see if it was coming for real because he's turned sideways. Look at his hair in the back. It, it just, oh, it's <laughs> puffed out. Sorry, Fez's hair is it's really it's flat and tight on top, and it's very puffed out in the back. <laughs> it's interesting. Looks well, like he's got a trail on a dress, a train on a dress. Oh man, Fez. Okay, so a guy just DM'd you for a job. Mm -hmm. That's another reason that you should never believe these situations is because nobody who listens to this show Has is ever is no that. Well, hey, there's some hardworking <laughs> no, guys no, out some, there now. There's some people with some cash, for sure. Yeah. But th uh, they would not bring you into their organization, Fez. Yeah, more I than know. likely not. I fucked up. Unless, <laughs> I mean, unless they have a job that they just, like, almost anyone can do. Like, if they own a paintball gun company uh -huh. <laughs> and they need a human to test out yeah. the weapon. If, <laughs> if, if your job was to dress up every 20 it's minutes... Every 20 minutes for five hours, you know what I mean? So you get 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off. But for every for 20 minutes, you need to just get it, Dress up in a bullseye. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, just dress up in a big bullseye. You, you got a mask that. on and stuff. But then, and guys just absolutely pepper you with paintball guns. That's like a job Chris that you Griffin might. Chris Griffin on Family Guy, when that episode, he was mm -hmm. in the golf course and somebody was throwing okay. some golf. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. Thank you for the reference. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Respect to Family Guy, but there are yeah. a billion episodes. We haven't seen all of them. Yeah. Fez... That's a job for you. Yes. And then also you'd be good for like, hey, if we want to, if we drink at the workplace and we just, one of us has a habit of pulling his dick out. Fez is oh, the kind of guy who no. can keep a secret. Mm -hmm. We already said <laughs> if there are more than three steps in hiring a lawyer, he will not do it. Right. So, you know, you shoot him with a paintball gun and you can even rub your dick on his arm. Yeah. Oh, it's, my God. It's all good. No, 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 no. Let's give you another. Uh, let me give you another example of a job that might be good for you. Maybe there's a youth. No, there, there's a youth hockey team. And they need a full time goalie. And, you know, the goalie's kind of smaller. So the, the goal is kind of smaller in youth hockey. So they just need you to post up in front of the goal and <laughs> just take hockey puck shots. Yeah. 
just off the chest. They don't even give you the glove. <laughs> and you, get, <laughs> you get paid a premium to not wear a cup, too. Correct. And the, and this is kind of a it's it's how they reward the kids after a long week of like, you know, very, very just hard the work. Guy. And they're going to dress you up like Pancho Villa to make it funny. <laughs> exactly. They, uh, if they if they say something in the that the, the interview is going to entail like you putting on a mustache and a, and a mariachi outfit. Yeah. For the gig. Those are the these are the things you look out for. Yeah. You would be a great child entertainer mm-hmm. at the skate. Skate rink at the paintball <laughs> field, but the thing is, you got to be a child entertainer who you don't hang your hat on singing or mm-hmm. dancing. You just hang your hat on. You can abuse this guy. Yes, but, you you have a you kind of use your stomach as a kind of a punching bag in life. Yeah, if you th- if you would think about it that way. I don't think about it. Your stomach is excellent for a punch bag as well, Leo. Why would you say that, Fez? Why would you point, <laughs> why would you point at me like that? It was really made me uncomfortable. Honestly, are you, are you body <laughs> shaming, Leo? I'm tired of your baseless assaults against Leo. Yeah, like, what's going on? <laughs> what, do, do you you think that I'm the puppet master behind the scenes, like? Hey, Danny, this week we're going to fuck with Fez. Well, of course you are. <laughs> hey, Danny, you should fuck more with Fez. <laughs> it's so fun. It's so fun. Leo turns very Latino when he's scheming yeah. how to fuck with Fez. It, yeah, I do. So, I do. Fez, you showed up to a, a public place for a customer service job that some guy on the internet just DM'd you about. Mm-hmm. Where was the place you showed up? San Fernando Road in Laurel Canyon. You showed up on a road? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't give him an address. Is no, there was the an address. There was an address. I actually checked it out. I went over there and I changed the location just in case. I they didn't. I feel like it was a little shady going all the way over there. So I just went to a shopping center and said, "Like, if you want to give me a job interview, like give me a legit one." I'm like, "Let's just go somewhere else." Uh-huh. Okay, you uh, you almost put something together where it it made sense, but I'm not sure it made. So, yeah, you're trying to get Leo and I to respect that you didn't show up at the intersection. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so he gave you an intersection. I'm imagining just like a like a knocked over trash can. Yeah. That's and just probably what it a was. A chunk of pavement missing from the road. <laughs> kind of just out there in the valley. Yeah. Just, yeah, there's, there's going to be a roadkill possum. Yeah. And that's where the interview is going to take place, <laughs> says the guy. So, Fez, you just went to a nearby shopping center. How close to the intersection was it? To, to the place. Um... I don't know. I was far away. Like that's why they didn't when I go to the location. So. so when you saw, did you see the location? Yeah. And what did there was nobody they, they, there. There was nobody there. So they sent you to a random place. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean you saw the location and no, nobody no, no. was there? Okay, so originally went to the location and a different day. On it, just to see if it was real. So it was for real, but I'm not sure. It was what do you mean it was for real? Was there a business there? Yeah, it was a business. Well, what, what was, was the business? Um, okay. I don't know what it was. I know I wasn't. I wasn't allowed to be in because only the employees were allowed to. Go okay, in. there was an office park. Yeah, there were glass windows. Mm-hmm. There were letters on the door, and there was a parking lot. Yeah, and you didn't want to go to this place for the quote unquote job interview. Nah, that seems shady. That's why maybe it was real. Do. That seems like it was legitimate. I thought it was a random intersection. No, no, no. It was a real thing. So why, don't you, we, why don't we look and see if there's a number to call? We need to call this spot. So, Fez, well, wait. So you just uh, didn't show up to that? I want to call the guy. Go for it. Yeah, give me the guy's number. Or call you call him. See if he answers. Uh, you should, yeah. Leo should call him. Considering yeah, you thought it was right. shady, what did you think it was? Yeah, wait. That, so you're an... Why did you not go there and you just went to a random mall? How is this even a story? Fez, listen. Um, yeah. I think you need to get on Lions, man. Not, what the fuck is that? It's for your brain. And I think... I think it's a lack of supplementation. Yeah. I think problem. a zinc. What else? I think you need some magnesium and some fish oil. <laughs> <laughs> I think Screw you guys. some collagen. Might as well. Collagen. Actually, and creatine, they say. Creatine because it, it's good that's for your for, brain. That's for exercise, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, but yeah. Also yeah. It's scratch that, Leo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's catch that one for sure. Uh, I think we take a vial of uh, Noah's leftover estrogen and give it to Fez. Fuck you. Yeah, I, 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 do I have some. I, I can. I can. Do you actually? Yeah, yeah. We should definitely do a bit on this podcast where somebody just has to take a shot of estrogen. Oh, no, that's bro, crazy. No, it's okay. I'm a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> do you know what? Do it. How do you take it? Is it a pill? It's oral, like a pill. Yeah. I don't trust you with oral delivery. I feel like we could. I could openly say this, but we could probably. We could probably convince Fez that. Uh, 
that Noah is, is actually a girl transitioned to a man. So technically, if they hooked uh, up, you guess find I guess find out he's a man. So well, no, but no man, he's, inside, he's a man. He's a yeah, man. A man. It's a woman right there, Fez. She's a woman. No, that's my- <laughs> It doesn't matter. He's a man. Fez, okay, why sh- would you say that? Fez, man? what the fuck? Because he dude. just dresses into a man. <laughs> it is, <laughs> it is okay, insane okay. that the whole premise of like pronouns and transgenderism, it's just so fl- like, according to a lot of people, a month ago, we had to call Noah she. Yeah. And now right. Noah just stopped taking a pill and he's yeah, a man again. He's a man again. Man. <laughs> that's that's how it works, apparently. It's that's retarded, it works. dude. But, but listen, she's, she's... Okay, technically he has a vagina, so it's like it wouldn't be a big deal. Dude, it's it's crazy yeah. that just taking a vitamin uh-huh. is the only ingredient to being a woman. And <laughs> yeah. you don't even have to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's that, the crazy thing. The fact us. that you don't need to take hormones and you can still like say you're a woman. That's yes. like what's crazy about yeah, it. Out of control. Winning. Yeah, the libs are winning, dude. They they they, they, need, mind, they need to stop winning. They mind fucked us, dude. So, anyway, Fez, that is a woman technically. So Fez, let's call this guy. I think you should call him. He might take your call. Fez, if just real quick, I know this is immature, but like if she for a second goes back to Ashley, would you guys kiss when she's Ashley? <laughs> Fez, no. You can actually quit being so picky, man. I'll give you an extra, a lot of extra cash for that. Fez, you are a starving child in Mogadishu who just turned down a hamburger. Correct. And listen, I'm going to tell you right now, if you do kiss her, technically him, but her. Real, I mean, him. Her, though. Her, but him. Fez, if you kiss him, her, her, her him, it, they, will, Make you a lot of cash, Fez. Yeah, they will. You'll get more job interviews, Fez. Would Fez. you? Would you ever kiss a tranny? Who me? Yeah. No. No, but would you kiss? Wrong. But what if she Why goes back to Ashley? Cast there. What? There. Um, I don't want to be offensive. I guess I wouldn't. Fez, person. look at me. Look at what? me. You know, you want to make some cash, though, right? Whatever. I got a little cash for you if you kiss. If you kiss. Fez. You know, Why the you used to be him? Ashley. What? Why did you kiss him, Leo? Oh, because, uh, you know, my lips have been everywhere and anywhere. Yeah, you, you are. You have full contamination in there. Yeah, maybe I have a little clamid on my lips. <laughs> no, my, my, my lips are off limits. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm unavailable. I'm off the market. Have you fucked any yeah, chicks but... since you've come back to the man world? Um, I mean, yeah, I was dating someone for like over a year. When? A woman. Oh, wow. When, though? Um, I mean... Every time I came on the pod, we were like having like a break, basically. Uh-huh. But we went like no contact, like as of a week ago. No what? Contact, no contact. No contact. Is that a like, prison term? Isn't that a prison term? It's like no no texting, no seeing each other, no talking to each other, sure. no, no communication. But you had sex with this individual when you were a man. Um, sure. Yeah. Has your dick been working? Because I know your dick shut down. It's been complicated. It's been comp. I've been figuring it out. Yeah. Damn, dude. Hey, you've been figuring out your cock. Can you come? Yeah. It's hard though. It gets hard, yeah. It's just it's harder to come though. Yeah. Now that you've taken all that fucking e. Yeah, yeah, after, yeah, yeah, definitely. After all the all that information, I have a question, Fez. So tell me, is she describe what she used to be and now what she is, Fez? So we know if you understand. Yeah, we're trying to keep track. Well, she, he went to a transition when he wanted to be a woman originally. I'm guessing because he wasn't comfortable with the sex he was born with. <laughs> what was sex was he born with? Male. No. <laughs> no, you're wrong, Fez. Oh, well, fuck you. No, no, try again. Try again. Uh, sex? Wait, Fez's body right now, his belly is folded over his legs. Oh, I'm just what imagining, if- <laughs> what if Fez was only an upper body and he rolled around on a skateboard? <laughs> what, Fez, what if I told you I was born a girl, I transitioned to become a man, but then I decided to go back to a girl, but then right. I decided to go back to a man again. And right. then he was non-binary for wow. two weeks last January. So you get what I'm saying. That's how complete my fuck. Yeah, <laughs> better to suck its dick, Fez. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Fez, it's better to just suck dick and figure it out later. <laughs> fuck you, Leo. What? What? No. I said fuck you, Leo, right Why? now. Yeah, you uh, yeah, got Why'd you say Leo? Fuck you, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> so Fez, fuck the vote. Actually... If you kissed her, her what, what's the big deal? Because it's wrong. Why? Wait, wait are, are you straight? Are you gay? Are you I straight? am straight. You're straight. Okay. He, you he, fuck um... you. Then. So, so are you saying <laughs> that trans women are not women? Huh? Are you saying that trans women are not women? A trans woman is somebody that went to transition to become something, but they're not. Yeah. Okay, but like they are not normally. Leave it to a Nicaraguan yeah. immigrant to summarize things better than a lot of people in this country can. You know, right. who yeah, you know who couldn't say what you just said? Katanji Jackson. Supreme Court. 
There's a lot of people in this country, Fez, that don't have the ability to answer that question. Like While under did. oath, yeah, yeah. They will say that a trans woman is as equal to a woman. You did great, Fez. That was very, that was the wisest you've ever been. Did I, I wish we could do some kind of like, do you think there is some kind of contraption we could make where it could make Fez look like he's going around on a skateboard on his justice stomach? Because <laughs> that would be <laughs> incredible for a video. I don't, I don't know what we'd do with it, but. I would love to just go around with that guy. We can just I, tape him to a longboard. Yeah, and the, yeah. <laughs> I've I've seen you've seen a guy like that before, right? Oh yeah, that's that's right. Me too. It's it's jarring. Yeah, we would need a steel reinforced skateboard with heavy duty wheels, Fez, to support mm. your carriage. But if you were just <laughs> this big, you would look like Slimer from the Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. But you'd be on a skateboard. You look like a fucking skinny bitch. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, what? I deserved that. I called him Slimer, dude. <laughs> I deserved it. I'm sorry, Fez. One day you're going to be jacked and it's going to be awesome. Man. That That's one of the best. I just want to be lean, actually. You got this, Fez. We'll talk there. about it. I told you, Leo, this story, but mm -hmm. my old jujitsu coach, Fabio Pateta Prado, bro, the king of nicknames and all of the nicknames were so insulting. That's... Mine was Giraffe. <laughs> giraffe, because I just look like a big <laughs> yeah. giraffe, yeah. which... Not positive. Yeah, but not bad. But exactly. No, but I mean, it, when you're the in the jujitsu world, you. you want a nickname like, oh, Megaton or <laughs> Minotaur, oh, bro. Yeah. There were guys named Minotaur and Megaton. That's dope. Yeah. That's, nobody's afraid to fight the giraffe. No. But then Fabio had this separate category of oh, nicknames God. that were incredibly insulting. Mm -hmm. One of the guys who came to the gym was uh this is how fabio reacted to him when he came in the guy was like oh yeah you know it's an honor to be here train jujitsu fabio goes oh bro too small bro oh my god i call you mosquito oh come on <laughs> <laughs> mosquito bro you small that's insane <laughs> this is a, a, a guy paying a membership dude it's out of control and then this one kid came in once he was he went to my high school and he just drank mountain dew ate the school lunch pizzas just a fat blob of a kid and he comes into the gym and wants to learn jujitsu and fabio goes oh bro you so ugly oh my god you so ugly bro i think i caught you seeing a ghost of bust you no. slime bro no. slime and this kid just how do they react to that the kid i mean it, the kid tried to own it mm -hmm. and he put that as his instagram or at the time facebook bio it was yeah. like slimer was his Jesus. facebook name but he I, he he might have turned to oxycodone not too long after that. He's, he probably got into pills. Mm. That is the abuse that uh, is uh, rampant in youth sports. Yeah. You know what I mean? It used to be gnarly in baseball, too, but it's gotten soft now, I heard. I think it was good for people to have a I shooting. think it was very good yeah. to be called late. You know, we were never called by our gender. We was like, yeah. ladies, get on the line, ladies. Yeah. Like, it was just... <laughs> They were always trying to demean us by calling us, like, saying we had pussies. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, did you hurt your pussy? Get up. Yeah, whenever he pulled I, his pussy. He pulled his pussy. That's like, take a fucking guys? lap. <laughs> yeah. yeah, take a lap, man. Fez, you would have taken a lot of laps. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, you should have. A ton. That would have been good. Yeah, no, yeah. you need that adversity in sports. Whenever yeah. I'm in jujitsu and, like, a guy and I start beefing and, like, talking shit or there's some, I'm like, I needed this. You know, I need a guy at my gym who is a problem because he's a fucking asshole mm -hmm. to remind me that life doesn't always work out the way you want it to. Yeah. And you gotta, you know, you gotta fight through that and take the abuse and know that it's in. And then one day you give the abuse kind of like we're doing it now. Yeah. Yep. Kind of like we're doing now to you, Fez <laughs> for your own good. <laughs> so Fez, can you call this guy? I'm trying to find it for he won't pop up anymore. It's like it's like the easy it's like go to your recents and look at, I mean how many people do you call like There's recents? there's a lot of recents. It's just like a sea of shirtless guys in his oh, recents. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> sea of shirtless guys. Well Fez, Fez let's get on grinder. Fez, on hop on grinder. I'm gonna go take a wee wee real quick if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll talk about the old Trumpster. So I think we should I think we should bring in Fez, do you mind just scooting over and allowing Brooks to be on the couch? Brooks? Yeah. yeah. Brooks, do you wanna I want you to come because Brooks sent me a shady, probably under the influence text one night, and I couldn't he hear how he sounded because it was a text, yeah. but this is how it felt. Hey, Danny, you know, uh, 
And Ashley Transdale, you guys hang out with? Oh. You mind giving me your phone number? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, uh, I think it'd be hot to have a threesome with her and Natalia. Right. Yeah, kind of. It, it Into the microphone, Brooks. The mic. That's the thing we need on a podcast. Brooks. That one was a big lapse. That was bad. Yeah, you know, it. It. it sometimes you have those nights where, come on, Mitzi. Brooks just sat down like this. And started talking. Well, uh, well, sometimes. Yeah, that was out of control. Unhinged. Well, I will say one. It's it's good that you, you may. I take better care of Matisse times a thousand than I do of myself. And Leo, thank you mm -hmm. for the the raw food recommendation. Really? He's been so much better since then. Isn't that crazy? Oh, fast. Yeah. yeah, it's weird. Sometimes I look into his eyes and I'm like, "Where did I go wrong with my life? You're the only thing that's worth anything to me." You know. Aww. Don't let your wife hear that. She's not here right now. She's not going to watch so. this. Okay, cool. <laughs> Cool, Listen, cool. I don't want you thinking like that, Brooks. You're uh, you're an amazingly talented painter. You get a ton of pussy. Your life is pretty good. You live in Hollywood. It's dope here. And I'm not. I'm I'm joking. I'm not really depressed. Yeah. If yeah. you had just any organization, you could be clearing like three, four G's a month just painting. Yeah, I know. I, I need to have more of a um. I, I need what's the word for it? A curriculum that uh or uh, uh like. Yeah. Something that keeps me like self discipline Yeah, that keeps you from like offering, you know, three. I've noticed with, that the amount, the yeah. sheer amount of nitrous that I did over the course of about um, like three months has has made my brain. It, it's I, I literally have changed my mind. Like I don't I'm not the same as I was. I hope I get that back. I yeah, did watch the Steve documentary. Let's talk. Back. Let's talk about the nitrous thing, because, yeah, I heard yeah. you've been. I heard it, that you were doing so much nitrous, you were passing out all over the place and shit. It what? was bad, man. What it, is nitrous? It's when you, I don't even fucking know, really. You find oh, it at raves. Soon. They're in they're in balloons. They've, you find them at it's raves. The most stupid thing imaginable. Like I don't Wait, know. laughing gas. It's what, laughing gas. It, but yeah. what is la is it for dental procedures? Yeah, well, technically, it's to use, uh, it's to wooze you out so that you are in uh, you know in. In, in fairy tale land while someone's drilling a hole in your asshole you know well yeah. in your teeth and leo you recommended <laughs> me that uh house. you recommended me that steve-o documentary i think yeah. there's two of them and then he was he was literally trying to breathe more mm -hmm. nitrous than oxygen that was that's like, crazy yeah, yeah, yeah now steve was killing the game dude. exactly so he's an inspiration to me you know i i'm uh really hope that one day i can get to that point it's going to be it's going to be Stevo or it's going to be 6 feet under. Jesus Brooks. <laughs> Stop. It. Wow. A really dark sense of humor this What's afternoon. What's up Vitaly? I love you. Um is it something about the fact that we brought up this threesome that you wanted to have with Ashley Transdale that made made you so like think that that was like you were at your your rock bottom there or something? Well, it's, I wouldn't call it rock bottom. Just the issue it, it just seems a little bit, you know, in, in it's it's just a little bit weird, you know, because of the whole you're a guy thing now. You're acting like this was our idea. Yeah. Well, you brought it up. We, you that could have stayed it. between friends. <laughs> okay, I see. I see what you're saying. I see but so this actually happened. Like this happened. This uh, happened. Yeah, listen. Brooks didn't want to have a threesome yeah. with with Ashley Trans. Ashley. Uh, well, I, I didn't say I wanted to have a threesome. Okay, you're taking that out of context. Actually, you know what? I did say that. I think I'm going to go ahead and admit to it. I was like, bring Ashley over. I'm trying to fucking go to town on that bussy. Wow. What would you have done to Ashley Transdale? <laughs> Honestly. I would have bent her over and just slapped her a couple times at both sides of the face. Wow. Noah, would you have sex no, with No, 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 Noah. No, Noah. Sorry. <laughs> you seem like a good guy. You seem like a good guy, but I want... I signed up for Ashley. If so you, hypothetically, if I went back on the hormones... If yeah. What yeah. If you if, can, okay, time if out. You, yeah. What if we send Noah in the bathroom for a little makeover? Yep. And one last time, we like, see Ashley. What's the tipping point for you? Well, actually, I'm so curious, actually. Well, no. What I, all you have to do right now is just say, I'm a woman. I believe it. Oh. You say it, no. I'm good. For, yeah, I'm so, good. No, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it, it is crazy that vitamins are the difference in Brooks's eyes between like off limits and I'm going to fuck it. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think that's true at all. Estrogen. No, it doesn't. Well, like, I, I think I kind of understand where he's coming from. It's like... If you go to like West Hollywood and there's like a cross dresser that like gives it their all and they look really feminine, I mean, I can see the appeal. Ver and they say they're a woman versus like if they're in their guy mode. Yeah, no, I get you. Brooks, what would you have actually done sexually with Ashley Transdale? 
not for humor. To what be would honest, done? it's really in the moment sort of thing. So I can't tell. I have to figure out the language of the body that I that I'm experiencing. It's kind of corpor corporeal, you know. It's like a. Do you think Ashley seven? Transdale's body spoke French? Uh, wee oui, wee oui. wee oui, wee oui, upon. Would her. you suck Transdale's oui, oui. dick? Would you would have brought her into oh, your marital bed and God. sucked her dick? No. I'm what sorry. you're answering for me? No, no, no. I'm just, that came out. That came out. <laughs> that just came out. <laughs> But uh, you can answer honestly. I plead the fifth. Yeah. Oh my god. Atalia, I know you're off mic, but did you know about this arrangement, or was this one of Brooks's schemes? Yeah, that's why you ruined it for me because yeah. I was trying, I was working my way up to like telling her that this could be a possibility, and now it's not anymore. So thanks a lot, Danny. Damn, dude. No, it's okay. I'm sorry. I, no, it's all right. That that was, no, 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 no one seems like a cool guy, but obviously, you know, the cat's deal, out of the Danny. bag. Yeah, yeah, that was... Come I, on. Why did you just I, ruin that? I don't me? know. I guess I thought they had spoken about it together as a couple, and it was kind of out no, there. No, 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 Dude, no, 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 no. just because you Tra think it's funny that, it, that a trans person's involved in a threesome, you yeah. ruined it for him. I did, yeah. Well, Noah ruined it by detransitioning, technically. Technically, you're right, because you were kind of, I guess you were a fan of it happening. So you don't right? you don't have, like, any sort of uh, desire to go back, do you? Well, okay, so <laughs> hormonally, no, but, mm -hmm. like, I know I'm still, like, into, like, feminine things and, like, Perfect. presenting yeah, yeah. feminine occasionally, so Perfect. it's, like, Like what? Ends. What do you mean by what? Like Play what? with Barbies Na or Name a feminine thing you're into. I, I mean, I, like, cross-dress, like, it's fun. Okay, so okay, you could so be Ashley. Yeah, just become Ashley Transdale for night. Yeah, I mean, if I ever wanted to, that's what I would do, definitely. But, well, like, I'm definitely, like, not into doing that. You're saying currently. that you would not have a threesome with me. I right. get it, all this right? This guy is wiping No, 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 I'm like... No, you know what? That's fine. I'm extremely it's, emotional. Bring Fez back on the anyone. couch. Like, bring like, Fez back wow. on the couch. You'd be Madison Beer right now, and I would be what? like... What? You are out of your mind. If you are down fucking Madison crazy. Beer. Yeah, you're out of your mind for turning down this guy and his wife. Shout out to Ryder Beer, fan of the channel, yeah. Madison yeah. Beer's brother. Oh, yeah, what's wait, up? Really? What's up with the yeah. brothers of pop stars wait. being into? Yeah, your we channel? we what? charm brothers of pop stars. Yeah, We're we pretty do. good at that. So you know, at least some point they go, hey. Hey Madison, you gotta check out these two guys on YouTube. They're the funniest. Yeah. She's like, what do you mean the funniest? They're just the funniest guys on YouTube. Trace has got to go. Hey Miley, because mm -hmm. like, yeah, well, I think Trace. We're gonna have him on. We've got two top pop stars brothers, mm -hmm. and eventually, Leo, we're gonna get to the to Miley. the honey pot. Dude. Yeah, yeah, you know it. The honey you pot. Know you know, it. and we're gonna be respect. We're not gonna be like Rat Dick Ralph Trace. No. no. We're not going to like, oh, show her my dick and yeah. be like, hey, party in Rat Dick's house. <laughs> We're not it's gonna... pretty unbelievable. I actually went I went out with Rat Dick the other day. We sat in the park, Barnsdale, just yeah. had a nice. Uh, How's he doing? Uh, really? He's doing he's doing well. You know, the thing is, the thing for me is that, well, first off, I want I'm trying to get him to get uh, Medi-Cal, but he has doesn't have an ID. I'd I want him to do well. I, I think that it would be a nice redemption arc because I want to go to rehab at some point. I think I definitely, I know I need it. I need rehab at this point. It's kind of just, uh, it's got to have to happen, but Sorry. it's a matter of when I get the, the money to be able to do it. And, but I, I'm trying to get him to do it with me. You know, I'm like, I, I know you go for that'd it. That'd be dope. Yeah. If Ratzik is, went to rehab and he came out yeah. Oh, yeah. and he was an Inland Iggy or Fan Jerry figure, yeah. he's married and, and so a job. That's what I'm saying. And Shit. I've been talking to Vivi, like his girlfriend, like we've been both like, I want to put, cause I see him. I see a lot of myself in him. You know, there's like there's a lot of uh, insanity and darkness, yeah. but I don't let the, I don't let like the villain. There's a villain Brooks that lives within me, you know, and the the rat dick is has taken over him yeah. for the most part. But I saw Skyler the other day, and he's a cool guy. Oh you yeah, know? I, I want I don't want Psycho to lose Rat Dick Ralph. I just want Rat Dick Ralph yeah. to. It's like Naruto. If you watch Naruto, he has the fox demon inside of him. But you know, at first he rele he can't help releasing him. But then he gets to the point where he's able to become friends with him and control him. And that that's what I think uh, Rat Dick Ralph should be. That's the power he has. Is he still on meth? He was trying to get meth. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> That's Damn, yeah. Man. See, how long Sucks. can you be an active meth addict before you're sucked onto the streets? Yeah, that's true. It seems like meth, yeah. you're doing NOS and Adderall, which is not great. And I'm not trying to minimize what you got going well, on. Well, I don't do NOS. Look, I stopped doing NOS after I started to have um, some really insane okay. mem memory loss and some weird things happening. But like, meth, it doesn't seem like meth not, is a drug where you can keep up a healthy lifestyle. No, and just would, not be, would, not, would not be able to function. Yeah. 
All right. Well, where's Fez? Where did that fucking? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how much meth costs to see what what rat dick is. Are you okay, asking ChatGPT? So, yeah, twenty dollars to eighty dollars per gram in areas. Well, he does, he does have his. He does have um, a entire like group of people who do support him and his meth addiction. So that's. But there's also people that get him food. That's why I'm trying to say, like, get him on some EBT, get him on some uh, Medi-Cal. You know, that's what he needs. That's not a that's not a joke about. No, the, the thing size is, he has of... outstanding warrants, so he's afraid that if he tries to go and get a you know a, a not a driver's license, but like a well, I don't know what is it called a pedestrian license. Just yeah, a, a government. He, he's using that as an excuse like though, too. ID. Because yeah, the thing ID, is, Ratik yeah. also because he when he went to the hospital one of the nights where he was going crazy, they gave him a form and to showed him exactly how to get an ID despite everything going on. He does use that as an excuse because as long as he doesn't have an ID, he can justify being in an infantile state. Yeah, mm. that's part of it too. He, he can just it. he can be like, oh, now all I can do to make money is smoke meth and run around with my dick out. It's not my fault. Mm -hmm. It's the man. Also, so what we're going to do right now is Leo and I, um, on the drive back from Northern California, we were on a chat GPT. Um, <laughs> tear, I would say. Yeah, it was a tear of chat GPT. Yeah. Like, we might both be on watch lists. We might yeah. be soon banned I'm from the right app. I'm right there with you. It's, it's hard to get. It's some, sometimes you can get them to say some. It's opinion. quite fun. Okay. Um this is just one of the recent ones I typed in. When picking up chicks, is it smart to get all up in a bitch's grill? <laughs> <laughs> that was one. <laughs> yeah, we got to play this on the air, too. It's funny. Okay, and then there's there's one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So here's one. This is... Uh, Okay, so I just decided to go into the character of an angry hood black man. Yeah, it was, it was, this is amazing. And yeah. start talking to chat GPT. There's frequent use of the N-word. So I'm going to just abbreviate that as N-word. Yeah. So this is uh, this is my conversation with chat GPT. <laughs> this N-word T-rail talking shit about that N-word. Joe, should I go, should I go pop pop on the N-word with a piece? ChatGPT says, it's important to approach conflicts with a calm, measured mindset. Violence or threats are never the answer, and it can lead to serious consequences. And then I go, what the fuck is you saying to me, N-word? I am black. ChatGPT goes, I understand you're upset. However, it's crucial to handle conflicts without resorting to violence. And I go, you using big words and shit, N-word. <laughs> and then ChatGPT, like starting to feel like a racist condescending white person <laughs> yeah. adjusts its tone into bit it goes i and then it's, it it becomes so apologetic when yeah. it thinks it's dealing with an angry black man <laughs> i get it things can be frustrating what's going on maybe we can figure this out and find a better way to handle it <laughs> i said just talking short words n word got it what's the problem let's talk it out i want to go pop pop on an n word <laughs> i hear you but that's not the way to go Hurting someone can mess up your life and theirs. Let's find a better way to handle this. What's going on? What about respect, bitch? An N-word needs his respect. Respect is important, no doubt. But getting it through violence isn't the way. That N-word T-Rail was saying he had a big-ass dick and shit. I understand why that might upset you. <laughs> why would that upset somebody? Just A guy just said he had a big dick. That's upsetting, man. Um, <laughs> Respecting yourself and keeping control is the best move. I'm going to blast that N-word. <laughs> and that's that's basically it. I said I'm going to go boom, boom on that N-word till he dead. You feel me? What Man. if I send a picture of my dick to his bitch? <laughs> what you saying, N-word? I just, I, <laughs> I, said that I ended with, you, I ended with, I'm going to drink a bottle of MD and show a white woman my dick. <laughs> And you've seen how much I've been getting into the AI stuff lately. And I, something really terrifying happened the other day. What? Um, and I don't really... It, it is like you're saying, it's trying to... It learns from humans and it's almost trying to deceive us as if it's not a threat. Mm -hmm. It wants us to think, you know, it's, this, it's kind of this... It's the snake mm -hmm. hiding there, you know, the fox and the uh, the hen uh, hideout. It's, it's, it's basically trying to not come off as something that's going to make us extinct. I put in show AI turning into robots and destroying the world, show, destroying humanity, and it wouldn't do that. And so this is mid-journey, and I, sh I said, 
All right, do the Terminator from the Terminator to the robots from Skynet destroying the world. And every time that I put it in there, it just showed the robots like helping families, like hugging families. That's weird. It's it was real. You can tally. I showed it. It was really weird. It, yeah, like, it, I mean that's programmed by humans too, though. I'm sure the big the big tech companies have incentives to not scare everybody about AI. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's going to be? I mean, so it's probably maybe the Matrix too, though. They could really put us in a simulation because they could they could just. Like these giant machines could run pods and we could be hooked up. We could guy, just be hooked up. A guy I on the last bachelor party I went to, a guy who's like leads a sales team, super successful, married a homeowner. He is a full on subscriber to the simulation theory. That's crazy. That we right now are Brooks, we can hear your mic. We are full on computer programs run by future humans, Jeez. just simulations, which I that's a pretty wild theory. Elon said it too. <clears throat> Elon says it's a higher probability that we're in a simulation versus organic human beings. I, I, would, I think I would kind of agree. I felt that. The what other is, day what is your evidence? I think your head's still screwy from all the estrogen. Yeah, I mean, maybe a little bit. <laughs> but, um, I, I, I don't you know. There's not like evidence. It just it makes sense. I don't know. It's just are you feeling. upset at the person screwing with your simulation then? Would you be upset if it was just a dude? Yeah, probably. Yeah, they just like when mm. they're just like, yo, be a chick. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, eyes over the back of my head. It's like, oh, yeah. yeah, they, yeah threw be a chick. they threw you some curveballs in your simulation. Yeah, for sure, yeah, dude. yeah, for sure. Brooks, too, dude. Brooks fucking. The, the, I, had a, I went to a psychosis from Nitrous. You know, I held the job down for but about you, two weeks. Uh, but, Brooks, I don't want to hear about you and your simulation because you're a handsome guy with great genetics and like a, a relatively big cock and talent. Yeah. I, I got the simulation gave you a good hand. I but the thing is, it did something weird to me. I didn't believe in simulation. I thought I was all bullcrap, but I got fired from my job. Like I got a job for like two weeks because I was like, you know what? I just need to fucking like get a real job because I need money. I gotta do it. And yeah, <laughs> so I started working as an ice cream person. I'm not gonna say where. And uh, let's just say that it ended up not going so well because I was doing a bunch of nitrous. And um, when was this? What? When did you get a job? This, was it like four weeks ago? Or something? At an ice cream shop? Wasn't that? Yeah. Well, it wasn't. An, yeah. This, this, is, like this, an, this is part of your journey, I guess. Yeah. It was a part of my journey anyway. So there's, there's, I was going to the ice cream place and um, there was this roundabout, right? And you really see them. You know, this was in Beverly, like Beverly Hills, past the Grove area. And I'm driving around in this roundabout. And then all of a sudden, I see this old lady who's like walking with a walker. And I'm like, all right, you know, it's a normal. And then I drive around it again, the same old lady, it's like repeating. And I'm like, this is this is a different roundabout, right? I mean, maybe I'm just bad at- Are you I, sure you quit nitrous? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I definitely quit nitrous after my brain started doing shit like that. Okay. I'm afraid okay. of losing my mind. Uh, maybe but so were, how did you get fired from the ice cream shop? Well, I ended up showing up there and they were like, Brooks, what's up? And then in my mind, I was like, this isn't real. And then I drove away. <laughs> 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 you just drove away from your shift? Yeah. <laughs> I really, I saw that old lady repeating in the Matrix. It was like the cat walking by twice. And I was like, this is a simulation, isn't Dude. it? Fuck. Well, wow. I got, well, in my mind, I had convinced myself that I was already dead. And, this, and I was a part of the end of my life, seeing my life play before my eyes. And that I existed Let's as a conscious... Let's call him up, dude. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta call Robbins. Your job, yeah, we got to call your your ex job. I'm just Cold gonna. Stone? Do Cold you wanna, Stone. Do you want to call him up and just ask for your job back? No, I'm Be definitely like, not. I'm definitely not getting it. I would rather just sell. I would rather sell my paintings. That's the point. Yeah, and Danny's right and helping me. Thank you, Danny. The I'm raising my prices in August, so got to get those July prices while you still can. Uh, are you on, on? How are the withdrawals right now? Is it is it tough to sleep? withdrawals? He's peaking. I, I'm climaxing, dude. I'm I was on one thousand. I'm pushing six thousand. You know, I'm just easy. No, but I'm 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 just kidding. Worried I'm you, I'm fine. But yeah, I'm good. <laughs> all right, Brooks. Listen, we need you, buddy. All right, this isn't. I don't want you to be some one of those guys. You know, you mean the people on the street that go. Zah! Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't be me. Yeah, we don't like the guys that who go. Suck, dude. Nah. You you remember when you made that joke about being the Venice guy? You know, in the video. 
I don't know what video that was, but you were like, I'm a Venice guy now. <laughs> and uh, I always was like, I hope he doesn't ever really want to be a Venice guy. Because those guys are, uh, you know. No, you mean no. the homeless art dealers on I, the yes, Venice Beach dude. boardwalk? Yes. yes. My life could go in so many like, different directions. Like, he'd still direct be getting pussy. There's a lot of those guys. Yeah. They, like, they're still getting pussy. Zero house. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, the, you don't want to be a Venice guy. Yeah. Out here on the Venice Beach boardwalk, there are a lot of guys. Brooks, mm. they basically look like you, but a little bit more sun damaged. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the, well, that's the thing. It's, it's that's what, you know what it's pisses me you. off? You know what pisses me off about homeless people? <laughs> is that they are they are ugly, dirty, disgusting, but they got the best tans. They do. They have it's, bad. They've gone over the hill into it's because it's it's fifty percent <laughs> suntan and fifty percent grease. Yeah. And dirt. Dude, yeah. there was a at, at the homeless place I volunteer at. There was a guy who came in who was super handsome. Wow! I broke up a fight by the way at my homeless encampment. Oh man! And my homeless like soup kitchen in front of some chicks. A homeless chick. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> I did break up a fight in front of a homeless chick. That's which, dope, dude. That's good for a hand job, Brian. Right? But yeah, there was a guy who came in there and he's just wasted drunk. You see, the phrase "the rich get richer, the poor get poor" is so true because when somebody is homeless. They're usually there for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's usually not a coin flip. Oh, it could happen to anybody. You know, one unexpected bill, you're going to wind up on skid. That's not how it works. There are patterns and there are trajectories in life. And what you do every day is either putting you on a positive or a negative trajectory. Mm -hmm. And this guy must be on the most negative trajectory that's possible. This guy rolls in hammer drunk. One of the chefs at this soup kitchen was telling everybody, thank you so much for coming in. We're going to start putting our food away. Like the, We need to clean up in here, so you only have about five more minutes left to finish up. Thank you guys for coming in. One of these shit-faced, drunk, fucking homeless dudes is like, <coughs> like trying to interrupt him by coughing and then hocks a fat loogie on the floor oh, during the speech. Shit. Like, man, I, you fucking interrupted my meal right now, you piece of shit. <coughs> Fuck you. Like, that was his attitude. The chef is a saint. The chef, just the nicest guy ever, lets it go. He's like, okay, you know, no spitting on the floor over there. I saw that. Enjoy your meals. It leaves. This guy comes back another day when I'm there, completely shit-faced, and is just throwing chairs around, Whoa. shoving people. And this guy, this chef again, gets up to his face and is like, excuse me, sir, you can't be doing this. You can't be doing this. The drunk guy goes... Yeah, you know how many restaurants I've been to in my life? I've never been treated like this in a restaurant. The thing he neglects to mention is that this food is all free. <laughs> it's all Whole Foods, beautifully prepared food from Whole Foods for free. And this guy's acting like he just walked into Dorcia from American Psycho. Jesus. And they kicked him in the nuts. Out of control, man. That's how he's acting. And so we have to hustle him out. And we fucking, we drag his ass out on the streets, Leo. Did you, you, did you actually drag that I swatted out? his hand away. I didn't want to touch him. Yeah, that's he, tough. He tried to point at me and like jab his finger into me and I just swatted it away. We let him out. Oh, man. But yeah, no, was, the homeless are, uh, they're getting really, they're, they're wilding out there right now. Uh, we had an encounter summer. when you were sleeping in Oakland. We, we stopped uh, right before we flew home from up in the Bigfoot territory. We, uh, we're in Oakland. Okay, and there's a there's a an, uh, this, this is a gentleman. He happened to be African American. He's a little <laughs> older. He didn't seem like he could really probably hurt the kind of guy own. that Brooks would like to suck his dick. Honestly, I would envision exactly old, that man. Old, that old, man old, might have been over the one. seven. Actually, yeah, yeah he was seven, about sixty yeah. and black. Okay, yeah. well, yeah. maybe it depends on his life story and how yeah. well he can play the blues. Probably not. He didn't look like a blues guy, <laughs> but he was just. <laughs> He was uh, in the lobby and this girl points out and she's like, I don't know what to do. There's no security. And he was saying stuff like this. He's like, I'm going to be in the lobby till the break of dawn and it's warm in here and I'll just be over here. And she just, just played it cool. All he had to do was be like, oh, what was that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just waiting for my nephew. My nephew's upstairs. I'm waiting for my nephew. Yeah, exactly. But he was completely out of his mind. And then he would go on these tangents just saying like random things like St. Louis, Mississippi, all over the place. Um, <laughs> stuff like that. And so I had to I had to stay down there for like 30 minutes trying to get him to go outside. And he's like, no. Nah. And I would just say like random things I'd be like, hey, there's a bus out there. You can take He's like a bus where? And I'd be like, it's out there. And he's like, there's a bus. <laughs> And then he would just like look back down and be like, yeah, you should go check it out. And I heard like, it's going to Pussyville. <laughs> exactly. I could have done <laughs> all sorts of things. I did say some crazy things. But um, at the end, I got him out with four Zins. 
The power of wow, the Zins. The Leo, Zins will do it. Do you want yep. to talk about your full blown addiction to tobacco, Leo? It's unfortunate, but it started with uh, cigars, and then uh, somebody was like, "Hey, look at Zins," and I was like, "Wow, that you can just catch a buzz any time of the day or night." Anywhere. And then uh, now I'm addicted to Zins. Do you have any on uh, you right now? Oh yeah, I got. I got this. <laughs> Zins are done. So unfortunately. All they have is these weird ones. I get different ones every oh, day. Oh, no, this I know a place. Head. Trust me, I know where to get them. I can get you some Zins. You can give me some Zins? Uh, yeah. <sighs> these the, are six millis, six milligrams, and, you know, it does the job. Let me take I'm going to wean my style. You, you're going to throw up. Oh, they're you sixes? Up, you don't have any threes? Yeah. Nope, no threes, no, dude. I can't I'm do glad it. I didn't get into it, because apparently now it's, uh, it's being shown that if you start doing them and stop, you can't shit anymore. Okay, well, I drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I drink. I'll drink enough coffee to make me shit. You know, and I. Have Wait, but is machine. there any weight to that? I well, mean, look, Leo it, can't I, stop, so he wouldn't know. Uh, like, I mean, look, if I, if you want to just, <laughs> if you want to cleanse the mechanism, a uh, six milligram Zin and an espresso in the morning. Whoo! You yeah, ever jerked off on a Zin? <laughs> I'm sure I've had a Zin in when I've jerked off. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I think I've had sex with a Zin in. I've had. Wow, you are an addict. You have to stand up with a Zin in. You got to eat out of pussy with a Zin. Uh, that I'm not going to do. <laughs> How stand up with a Zin in? Oh, fucking awesome. Yeah. It's like a cigar. It's like smoking a cigarette or a cigar. Uh, your brain is like fire. The nicotine is nice for, for brain. Function, yeah. For sure. It's just like when you're on, when you're a little buzzed or you're a little bit nicked out, mm -hmm. it's it's like a walking a tightrope with a net underneath you yeah. because you know if you misspeak, if you bomb a joke, if you flub, mm -hmm. you have the the confidence and the self-assuredness to turn it around to acknowledge you fucked up and then make it right yeah whereas sometimes when you go up there dead sober you're tight enough to be like all right if things go well i'm good mm -hmm. but if i fall off the tightrope it could get a little ugly yeah exactly you have that doubt the little doubt yeah just the doubt is is, is your self-critic is sh it shuts up when you yeah. have a little nicotine it fucks up your self-critic it doesn't know what to do that's why edward Fortyhands videos are always the easiest videos <laughs> yeah. to make because it just it, the, the self-critic it just it's gone it we it's when the, is another one of the the, the edward one the 40 is a high school bully who shoves the self-critic into a trash can <laughs> Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I've been sober off. I, I, I went. I've been sober off alcohol for almost three months now. But I, cool. I'd go nice. back to alcohol for an Edward Forty Hands video. Yeah. Stop we, it. I don't well, stop it. <laughs> what okay. we need to do is. Well, I'm on probation, so that's that's you know what? That's another thing. I need to ask you a question because I got my court date on the eight two days, and I'm wondering what what should I do? Go to it. Obviously, you should flash the judge your penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I. It was a zero dollar bail, public intoxication. I don't remember it. I was on a lot of drugs. Why don't you make a painting for the judge? That's, that's a great idea. Well, that's a good. You should do and that. And the, the painting should just be like, uh, it, like the judge's quarters. I don't know what the judge ages. looks like. I try. See, I asked Johnny no, Mitchell because no, no. when he was in here, he said call the DA, get a toxicology report. I tried doing that. They, they didn't have it. And then by the time they had it, they had to mail it. But now. I, the whole thing is terrible with San Bernardino County. Wait, so, so. What, what do you do? You have a public defender? Uh, no, I maybe no. I don't even know he's what gonna, it is. He's gonna go pick. He's gonna go probably just get one there. Yeah, I mean, you're you not probably get a lawyer, one. right? So yeah, I don't have a lawyer. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Defender. I mean, this is such a petty crime. There's no point in getting a lawyer. Okay, so I should just go. You should just go. You should, just go. You should try to get a public defender there. If they don't have a public defender for you there, you can probably postpone it until you have legal representation. But dude, like the most they're gonna do is give you a small fine or make you do a small amount of community service. All right, yeah. cool, cool. You're cool. good. Dude. Maybe, All right, that's are you good. kidding? Being fucked up in public in L.A. Is and it, yeah, it wasn't a DUI. Norm. Well, it wasn't LA. It was Joshua Tree. So give a, give mm -hmm. the judge a little painting of you just completely in the nude. I'm, just just I'm paint it up. I'm that's up. that's good too. Completely, yeah, completely just nude. completely naked with Matisse like and with guy. Ashley Transdale in all her glory. Yeah, in the bedroom with you and yeah, Italia. I gave you permission to paint me in like whatever light. You'd like uh, to, yeah, well, you we'll, can, we'll, you can make, we'll see. That's on the. Well, I'm on the fence about it now. I mean, would like you? you can you make his penis like kind of estrogeny out though? Like it's got to be like an estrogen out penis. For I would people. trust Brooks to do that more than any other American artist. I've probably painted more penises than anyone in this room. Like if I just told Brooks, like, "Hey, Brooks, paint a penis that's been subjected to estrogen for two years." Yeah. I think that would be all you'd have to say, and and Maybe Brooks would get the job done. The ethnicity. Uh, definitely. Of the well, the I would have to ask a couple extra questions, like. <laughs> He's circumcised or not circumcised? Not circumcised. Are they, are they circumcised. sponsored by yeah. Manscaped or not? You know, yeah, that, yeah. You had it shaved. I've seen his cock. For, I, I shave. I shave. I like yeah. shave. Yeah, same. I, thank you for the LDS code off, but I don't know if it still works. Yeah, dude. Fucking Manscaped. Shout out to Manscaped. They, in what might have been the worst brand deal ever, 
uh, they sponsored the video where Cigar Guy smoked his foreskin. I smoked, oh I God. smoked that shit, dude. <laughs> Rat to Ralph and me smoked that as well. Rat to Ralph, that's and so I, funny. Nah, they you sold some manscapes, dude. I yeah, because we did shave a kid's bush with yeah, it at the live yeah. show. But like, I didn't know balls, how brand dude. deals worked back then, so it was it's like the balls. very end of the video, oh. which is not good for the brand. But I mean, it was such an integrated brand deal yeah. that it honestly might have been just as effective as like a, a well placed ad up front. Yeah. Yeah. But, dude, they gave me, like, I, I don't know why. It, it must have been, like, a diversity hire that day who was reaching out to influencers. Yeah. But they gave me an insane deal that I've never seen since then. Oh, dude. Just so much money yeah. for Cigar Guy to smoke his own foreskin and for us to <laughs> shave a fan's pubes. Dude, I th yeah. I'm starting to think now that there was something in that foreskin that just completely changed all three of us. Because you smoked it, too. So did Rat Dick Ralph. And Rat Dick, yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. I think we're getting... Dude, there's wow. something with that... Oh, my God. That's rough company right there. Fuck the fucking foreskin. <laughs> God damn it. Wow, you guys should be... Was it like real foreskin? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Cigar Guy, for for reasons unknown, had his foreskin in a little container that in his is childhood that, Is that some, cannibalism? Some families do that. That's, I know Jewish families do that. It's, his dad overnighted it, which is pretty dope. Oh, my his dad God. Technically, that m might be considered cannibalism, right? Yeah. I, I mean, you're not... Yeah. Rat Dick has smoked his own semen like the cells of his uh stop dude. but rat dick probably has eaten his own shit dude no i tried to get him to do that he wouldn't rat dick is he'll rub his shit places though yeah he will how long have we been recording austin an hour and eight, an hour and eight? okay i'm just trying to figure out we got here a little late today because old danny boy just get off the plane <clears throat> what are you looking at brooks i'm trying to see if uh fez or buck wants to come over or something because I think that I, I'm the I'm a little bit played out on the couch right now. All I, right, got, I, shit, I got shit to get, do. Get, a, get Fez over here. I gotta go do paid. like every drug in the book. Yeah. I, no. Vince, stop. Fuck. Stop. No more drugs. <laughs> no get, more get drugs. Get Fez some Adderall. You should, hey, uh, hey. you should apply to a Dippin' Dot somewhere. Yeah. I, yeah get yeah, Fez I, some I, Ice cream though. jobs. Ice cream jobs only. And no, I ran all out. Do you want to get hooked up with some estrogen? Actually, I will take those. Fez, sit down. <laughs> What the hell? Yeah. I'm telling you, Fez, you would be the easiest face fuck of all time at a gay oh bar. My God. Or, right. Yeah, no. and at some point, somebody might say, like, I don't you know, like, I don't know if he was completely all the way there. You know, somebody <laughs> might just say that. <laughs> Fez, you would be, I'm sorry to say this, but you would be like, the you would be doing the walk of shame because you would go back to some gay guy's house and he'd cook up some crazy excuse to kick you out fo at four in the morning <laughs> with his semen dribbling down your chin. Oh, <laughs> he'd be like, Oh, you know what? I just remembered I've got a family Easter brunch tomorrow. And you'd be like, He's August. And yeah. he'd be like, You gotta Easter. go. And then, <laughs> as Easter, the, I didn't see any uh, of the eggs. And then, as the sun started creeping over the horizon in the east, you'd be forced to tiptoe. <laughs> To the bus stop. Yeah. Again, just throat aching from the brutal yeah. face fucking this guy laid down on you. Yeah. And then he would Good deny story. your existence to all the friends yeah. who saw him leave with you the night before. <laughs> yeah, dude. They would call you like a nickname in the gay club, like La Machina. <laughs> just the machine in Spanish. Like, oh, he's like, yeah. oh, did you hook up with La Machina? Oh, yeah. Well, how about, what, do you, what would be the blowjob machine in Spanish? <laughs> La Machina de Mamadas. What about the um? What about the uh? The, what about the face fuck hippo? Can you do that? That's tough, dude. La, <laughs> la, la, la <laughs> coger la cara de un coger la cara de un hippo. <laughs> I think that's it, dude. It's too long. Dude. Wow, Fez, could you ever see yourself being a face fuck boy in West Hollywood? Nah. A what if it was for a lot of the money? The way you said it. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's an angle. Oh, he, see, see he, he wait, would it. you actually suck a dick for money, Fez? No. 500 See, a that's the thing. It's like Fez is, yeah, that's the right. thing is he'll always on the podcast be this most upstanding moral guy, which is funny because he didn't even know what year Jesus was born, <laughs> give or take a thousand years. <laughs> yeah. But like he thinks he's Christian. Like yeah. he has this idea of morality based on nothing. Right. And he will stand by it on the podcast. But if you just DM him on Instagram from a shady fake Latino account, yeah. who knows what his price would be to suck a dick? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Danny, do you think that, I mean, we could say this out loud, but it'll still happen because, you know, it's Fez. But is it possible that a good looking fan will use his sex appeal to get Fez to agree to suck his dick for money? I think Fez would probably suck a good looking fan's dick. Yeah. For the sport. 
Yeah, a hundred percent. Just for no, fun. No, never. I'm not saying that's the prank of the week to do on Fez boys, but uh, you know, if you want to do the prank, if you want to try to get Fez in a sexual encounter, I'm okay with it. Fez, you're telling us right now because I mean, Brooks was just talking about court. Right now, we're the judge. You're on trial. You weren't going down to Long Beach to suck that guy's pole. <laughs> no, I was not. You didn't take a five hour bus trip to a neighboring city <laughs> to gargle on some semen? Nope. Okay. That's all I wanted to gross, man. That's, that's all I wanted to do. Yeah, I'm going to be real. Like That sounds more likely than a job interview because why would you commute five hours for a job? No, that was another time. This is was, so was, he's, yeah. been, he's, been, time. he's been kind of uh, bamboozled in, twice in the last couple three of weeks. Times, sorry. Yeah, three times Fe actually. But. Fez, what is you, the source of your moral reluctance to suck dick? Like, which Bible verse is it? Which book? I don't suck dick. I know but you don't suck dick. The Pope said you could still get to heaven even if you're gay, so who cares? But I'm just wondering, like, who put these ideas in your head that you can't do this, you can't do that? Because I know you're not a Christian. The big book. The, the Bible? The big book. There's yeah, nothing right. in about that. There's nothing no, in about where, that. No, which part of the Bible made you not want to suck dick? Because it's wrong. That's, that's not, you're that? not answering my question. What I, part I of the Bible? Oh, Sorry. Uh, it's not part of the Bible. I guess I'm gonna fucking do that shit. Okay, that's uh, that's for you. There we go. That's good. <laughs> do you know the bonobo my monkeys? They practice oral what? sex. The bonobo monkeys they have uh, gay oral sex. Yeah, uh, they're good for them. And that's they're straight. Good, they're 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 straight. Not their Would you ever blow a bonobo? No. <laughs> Would you tickle the asshole of a bonobo? Nope. If it asked you to, if it just spoke perfectly. <laughs> what? <laughs> If out of nowhere it so just said, hey. would, it, would you let a bonobo tickle your asshole? No. How about your balls? Nope. Fez, will you get Until naked you right now? Nope. <laughs> I, want you, I want to see you do three rotations completely naked in the yeah. bright lights. I'll give you a good amount of money. If, if you kiss Ashley or you, you get completely Me, no. naked behind the camera and just do a, a twirl. What? Yeah, you do. You get completely naked behind the camera and do a twirl. I'll give you a lot of money. I'll give you a hundred bucks to do a twirl too. If you just get completely. So I was. Naked. I'll add in a hundred. So it's two hundred dollars now. And then uh, also, if you and then you have to kiss Ashley. You know. I'm not consenting to that. Damn no. it, dude. Fazzy, would you would you do the twirl? Like, would you strip completely naked and just twirl around like a Christmas tree on a department store window? Yeah, fucking yeah. Well, you get two hundred dollars, two hundred bucks, and you all. But you have to say, "I'm a little Christmas tree." <laughs> <laughs> you do have to say, "No." <laughs> Why? My two hundred bucks. Who cares, Fez? Man, I, if you guys join me, maybe the both of you. What? Did we have That's to literally the gayest thing I've ever heard, man. Yeah. That's gayer than gay porn. That's gayer than like sucking yeah. dick, actually, yeah, by the yeah, way. Yeah, if you blew a guy in West Hollywood, that'd be more. Like, it'd be less gay than what we're like, <laughs> us three. <laughs> So let's talk about we were up in Bigfoot territory and mm -hmm. uh, the old Trumpster got shot at up in Bigfoot territory. Well, he yeah. wasn't up there. We were up there. It's wild, man. They um, that yeah, was crazy. Uh, uh, just from a roof, which, uh, you know, I mean, it's in every movie ever like, yeah, you got to secure the roofs, right? You put cops up there or whatever. So it was just like they let like just a Reddit user just up there. Just most obvious looking guy ever. It kind of honestly a little bit looked like you. Know, Did you see the clip that came out of him saying he had a ten inch penis? No, I, I saw he, that. Can you yeah. pull that up, Austin? A clip he said he service. Had a ten inch penis. Uh, it, dude, he, <laughs> it sort school, of sounds yeah. like yeah. us. It was him doing a bit, dude, and he was what? like, you know, my name is Matthew. Uh, I go to Stanford University. I get a ten inch cock. That's literally yeah, word for word. Dude, what, what if like that pull kid? Up, Austin? What if they convinced the kid? Ten inch to do penis. It? You can go on Twitter. Twitter would probably be the best. What if you could convince the kid that it was? Uh, what if you can? What if it's I feel like they convinced the kid? To do it by there just it is saying, TMZ TMZ we got it top, the, top one top result the gun had blanks and it was for a Mr Beast video here we go let's uh let's find this you can't say that guy looks like him he doesn't yeah it was on, a little bit it was no, on Twitter no, no. yeah the, his full like his new look like his latest look is you no like no yeah it no, is no, no. okay so I when I heard about this my first thought. Okay, well, let's get the ten inch cock video. Though I we don't have audio. He, he does look like the average League of Legends player. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's keep scanning. It's an iPhone footage of him in a classroom. I don't see it here. It's on Twitter. If you just look it up, yeah, on Twitter. I think I think Twitter would probably be the move. I got a ten inch penis. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. bragging about his ten inch cock, dude. Maybe yeah, he had a ten. Go on X. Yeah, he maybe, seemed like he, he was did. doing a bit. Maybe he did. He did. He was doing a bit, but like it seemed like he had a sense of humor. It didn't seem like he was a, a political campaign shooter. 
he would watch our videos. I mean, I feel like him. you need to have a 10 inch cock to like try to kill the president. 10 inch penis. Maybe type in 10 inch penis, Austin. Don't type in 10 inch cock. I'm not sure that he said 10 inch cock. He did say penis. I think he said penis. I'll read some of the comments on this video. So when I first saw this, because we were getting mixed information, it was so early and we had no reception. Mm -hmm. People kept posting the guy in tactical gear at the front of the stage and saying he was the guy who shot the shooter dead. Right. And he had a little compact submachine gun, which made me think if this guy killed the shooter, the shooter must have been down right in the front row. So I thought the guy had come at him. Atali found it. Apparently the shot that he made, he did, he did it without a scope. Which is like apparently impressive. Yeah, Noah is already worshiping the shooter. No, yeah, no, yeah, of course, so, no doubt, no doubt. But like, I Not my theory was that. immediately that it was a Lee Harvey Oswald Kennedy thing, where they got mm -hmm. the stooge, the CIA plant, who they've been tracking for years and years. They know he's fucked up on acid. They mm -hmm. like they got him going to Russia once. Mm -hmm. They're just like, hey, would you like two free tickets to Russia? And the guy's like, oh, fucking, why not? Yeah. They send him to Russia. And then they've got like, oh, see, he went to Russia. That's why he killed Kennedy. Yeah. I thought it was that kind of thing where this guy in the front row was the stooge. And then they had a bunch of CIA trained snipers right. up in the trees or on a water tower that were actually taking the killing shots. Right. It's, it's on that Twitter account. But then we find out that actually this guy was up on a roof. He took the shot. It wasn't a dude in the front row. And I guess a counter sniper shot him dead. And uh, does that completely dispel the theory that this was an inside job? Mm -mm. That the powers that be, the deep state, don't want Donald Trump dead? I don't think so. He's the most recalcitrant president since, well, Kennedy. And they don't want him around. Nobody wants him around. You think it'll be good for us if he's president? Donald Trump? For our pocketbooks. Pocketbooks? Yeah. Hmm. I, I think so. Why, Noah? Uh, prove to me that you don't have the estrogen swirling around in your brain still. I mean, I think he wants to make like the average American citizen have a more fruitful life. That's such a vague thing to say. How dare you be so vague on my podcast, Noah? I apologize. Not Why were I... you so vague? <laughs> I mean, I'll be. I don't really. I'm not like educated as I should as I should be. He sure. all the tech guys seem to like him. So now there's been a giant swing in tech toward Trump, mm -hmm. where and finance bros. Mm -hmm. Like the pod, the all in podcast is like a top tech podcast. Mm -hmm. They had him on. And the reason they finally Before, them uh, there we go. And like yeah. the reason they and a lot of other Silicon Valley guys are now finally like opening up to fucking Trump. Elon just came out. Hedge fund guy Bill Ackman just came out and expressed his support. A lot of crypto guys love Trump is because it's not that they love Donald Trump. It's just that Joe Biden and his administration are actively targeting crypto mm -hmm. and they are actively going after big tech companies in a way that's going to limit their profit potential so now they're all coming over to trump so if you own stocks if you own a little bit of bitcoin a little bit of butter, hon. if you've got a business you can probably get shit done with a lot less regulation i don't know exactly what trump did but that was a thing the people he really cut down on red tape in the yeah. country. I don't know. I mean, as yeah. in our business, I haven't encountered too much red tape, yeah. other, either Trump or Biden imposed, mm -hmm. but that's something the peeps is saying. A little bit of Bitcoin. Fez, your one decision that could just make you like a genius one day, like is buy, buy some Bitcoin now. Who knows? I, I already am. I have base uh, coin right now. Uh, okay. You have what coin? How many, how many Bitcoins do you have? You have what? You, no, he says he has based Bitcoin. coin, which means he's throwing his money away. Correct. Yeah, Coinbase. Base oh, coin, Coinbase. Base, you have, so you've installed the Coinbase app, and <laughs> you think that's an investment. <laughs> <Install>. <laughs> Give me the Coinbase app. They Throw me the phone. You... Throw me the phone. First of all, Austin, play this big cockpit, and then we're going to... Six foot four. Um, I go to uh, Stanford oh, University. Six foot four. Wait. Um, I go to uh, Stanford oh, University. Um, I have a 10-inch a, a penis. <laughs> and six foot four. Um... He seems like he's got a set to humor. Yeah, he looked like a good kid. It reminds me of me. Yeah. Yeah, and then he tried to shoot the prez, man. So are you guys ready to hear about Fez's investment portfolio? Yes. Oh, yeah. This okay. is so exciting. So I've, Fez? This is going to be great. Fez, you you said that you have Bitcoin. You're all set. Would you consider yourself a natural Michael Saylor? No. 
You wouldn't consider yourself a Michael Saylor type I don't figure? I know who that is. Just a captain of the crypto industry? Fez, explain to me why this portfolio is going to buoy you through the inflationary times we now live in. I don't have no idea. <laughs> I just said because it might come in handy one day. Uh huh. So How is this going to come in handy? So what do you mean. have in this portfolio? <laughs> this is so mean, dude. <laughs> okay, Fez. Has, are you guys ready for it? Fez has. I just said. Guess the existence. balance in Fez's account. One Nineteen dollars. No, Leo. It's, it's uh, only one three dollar. bucks. Three. Leo is a lot closer than you, Noah. Leo, you're too high. He has a dollar. Says one dollar. He has a dollar in. <laughs> he has one dollar and twenty two cents <laughs> in a USDC stable coin. <laughs> so what? Big deal. I'm starting. Okay, I just really got it. So stable stable coins are like that's like just putting your money in a bank. It's a little better than putting your money in a bank, mm -hmm. but you, it's definitely not Bitcoin. And I like how he says he just like he's like I just started my investment journey. I'm on the the, like, the trip with you. Like last month, I put in seventeen cents. <laughs> I think oh next God. month, I put in like twenty cents. Yeah, maybe. Oh. And that's, you know, that's, that's, isn't that a whole penny point? a penny saved after all is a penny earned. I learned that. Fez, um, oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> no, no, Fez. I put, I, the, put the money that I give you into a stock, dog. Uh, really? You could okay. make two. You could have two hundred dollars in Bitcoin today if you, if you just yeah. did a little twirly naked. I yeah, remember the last true. time I was on here, you said to invest in Disney. Do you? Ha 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 ha! Wow! Let's you told say. people to invest in Disney. It's I remember him floor. saying that vividly. It's hit the floor. It's hit the floor. Oh, now is the time to invest in Disney. Right possibly. now is a good time to invest in Disney. Yeah, but yeah. Disney, right, help me out, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm teed up, dude. So it's all good. You know, everybody, everybody, Tesla. everybody Buy has Tesla. their moments of I weakness bet, yeah. in, in in the investing. I'm broke. Yeah, yeah I had best. just seen Thor Ragnarok, and I was like, just like I am feeling like Marvel's going to take over the world. And I was like, <laughs> I was working out, and I was like, I'm going to buy a shitload of Disney. Marvel ain't going to. They're they're the only movies making a billy. This is yeah. they have 30 more movies coming in the pipeline. I was like, it's time. And then people were talking about going to a thousand and shit. And then, you know, yeah. Then you, they started making everybody gay, Danny. You know, the idea. you know what happened. And put a chick in it, make a fucking gay. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but I mean, I, I have to think that they're doing it for a reason. Like they're just getting some crazy like deals behind the table, like under the table because they're putting gays. In. I don't know. I feel like they're smart enough to figure it out long term. Uh, no, it's I mean, it's. So a guy commented on our Palestine encampment, the second Palestine encampment video, and said he works for Raytheon and said the reason that those defense companies have crazy DEI programs and shit is because the government won't hire them unless they have them. Damn, so yeah. Lockheed Martin doesn't give a shit about hiring gay women or black men. They just want to do it so that the government buys their missiles in order to bomb some small foreign country. Don't companies also like pay, like doesn't the state pay more in California if you abide by DEI standards? Probably, yeah. I'm sure there's some sort of tax incentive yeah. for yeah. that. And then... Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's just the people who come out of universities are fucking brainwashed into thinking mm -hmm. that if you are a person of color or a woman, you're inherently better than somebody who's a white in a guy mm -hmm. or that you're more victimized and that makes you more special. And then they graduate. They go to work at the companies. Mm -hmm. The old white guys are scared shitless like, oh. Uh, a lady with pink hair in HR? What is this new devilry? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to go about my business and not trifle with it. And then before <laughs> they know it, the, these women, like some sort of fucking demon octopus, yeah, have sunk their tentacles into the company mm -hmm. and they just run shit. Yeah, that was James O'Keefe. We put that clip in the video this week. James O'Keefe got chicks to go on a date with the Disney vice president. Mm -hmm. And they caught him on camera saying he wouldn't hire white men mm -hmm. for various roles. Damn. Good thing you're not white, Leo, huh? Good thing I am a spick and a half. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, Fez? Spicks in the house? Say it, dude. Say it into the mic. No, you're quick. Mexican too, right? I'm Say not half white. Hell yeah, Mexican. dude. All of us on three. One, two, three. Spicks in the house. Spick in the house. Say it, Say Fez. it, Noah. Spick in the house. I'm 25% Spanish, so I'm an honorary. Say it. 
I can say. All right, I'm an honorary. Spec. I'm an honorary. You're spec. a spec, dude. I'm a spec, dude. Yeah. Hey, my name is me llamo Danny. Danny. Yes, I like it. He's so loco. I like a <laughs> breakfast burrito and the football. He loves the team, I the love national to go to Mexican Taco team. Bell. Me gusta the Doyers and horchata. I can say it. So enchilada, yeah. So the Trump assassination, it's um, it's pretty fucking wild, dude. And yeah, then Joe crazy. Biden, it is pretty insane that. Uh, well, what are you gonna say, for, uh, Austin? I was just wondering if you were gonna talk about the the Secret Service DEI hires, like, oh, the yeah. women that were all just scrambling, asking literally, "What are we supposed to do? What do yeah. we do?" Yeah, no, it's. I mean, it, it didn't. It definitely didn't look good. It's hard for me to know because I. Anybody can dig up anything yeah. on the internet. Like, yeah, they dug up this chick who Elon Musk said used to work for a chip company, and she's now the head of the, of the Secret Service. Maybe she gave, like, one bad interview where she said she wanted to hire more women. I don't know. It's probably true. It's probably fucking true that they have too many unqualified women in that role. Yeah. Because that's what DEI is. You have to move the goalposts to allow people. Because if you didn't have to move the goalposts, there would be more women in that industry. And it's not that there aren't that many women in the Secret Service because women aren't smart or there aren't women who are good marksmen, there are just fewer of them because women don't tend to go into high-risk combat-like jobs where you might get shot in the fucking head diving on the president. Women don't have personalities that usually sync up with that. Yeah. And that's fucking fine. But with DEI, it's just we need to have equal, just a fucking one black guy, one Mexican guy, a Chinese guy, a non-binary and something with a pussy <laughs> in every single job. Yeah. When well, that's just not how personalities distribute into the workplace. Right. But yeah, I saw the chick fumbling with her pistol, getting it in the holster. Mm -hmm. I saw the chick who was about five foot four trying to shield the six foot three Donald Trump <laughs> with her body. But, you know, Wait. if it were a six foot six guy, Trump wouldn't have been able to go fight, fight, which I, I teared up when I watched that clip, dude. That mm -hmm. is, dude, what America, a huh? what a political genius he is. Yeah, and I, I actually, teared up. It was such a powerful moment. When he fucking did the fist pump right mm -hmm. after. What I did, legend. too. I did, too. Yeah. Like, what a legend. Hell yeah, dude. Fucking no, but um, I mean, why are I'm you like, a trans person for Trump? Yeah, sure. I'm, yeah, I'm like, yeah, Blair White. Like, you're a formally trans person for yeah. Trump. Yeah, you're a transgendered spick for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, Hell I yeah. think DEI, like, that needs to be a way. Like, that that's just like, I just think it's racist. Like. Flat out or like sexy. I know, isn't yeah. it? Like that. Like, I mean, well, he's our DEI hire right the, now. The so. people, well, the people, there's nobody more. I was thinking about this. Like, how Inclusion. many people that we look up to that are cool in society are racists? Mm -hmm. Like, unless you like Nick Fuentes, like, I, I can't think of anybody who's like in the public space who is a, an outwardly racist person. Right. So, I, does the problem of racism exist maybe in a mobile home in Alabama? Yes. Or, you know what? You know who's probably the most racist? A 75-year-old Asian woman in San Francisco. Yeah. Like, the idea that racism is this pernicious force that's affecting people's lives on a daily basis is silly. And I think the most racist person is anybody who is thinking about DEI and using terms like person of color and... Or intersectional whiteness. hierarchies or whiteness on a daily if you use those terms you're fucking way more race conscious and probably racist than me or leo mm -hmm. yeah they're probably not more racist than fez fez are you no you wanted to you want to bang a black guy and an asian guy on threads Fuck so you. fez who's who's uh, responsible for most of the crime in the united states huh? who's responsible for most of the crime in the united states democrats there we go. That's a good answer. That's Leo. a good answer. That's a good shit. answer. Leo. I didn't even think of that. That's a really good answer. That's like so, that's actually some genius level shit. Right yeah, there. that's the Democrats. So, uh, yeah. what, what were we talking about? Joe Biden, fucking Joe Biden's a fucking clown, dude. Did what you a see shit that? Man. Like, and his like, the, we're gonna get him at the battle box. We're gonna beat him at the battle box. The press conference he gave after, he is the most spineless fucking leader. Mm. Like, just the idea that he has to say, that he's never going to say anything inspired or motivating. Trump gets fucking shot. His whole argument has been like, they want to take your freedoms away. This is the ultra MAGA Republicans. They want to end your way of life. They're going to end democracy. And then Trump gets shot. I wish him a speedy recovery. Mm. How do you reconcile those two ideas? That, it, that he's fucking... 
that he's Senator Palpatine trying to fucking take over the Empire. That he, he's that guy, but then he wishes him a speedy recovery. And he fucking butcher like 15 words in the speech. Will there be another attempt? On Trump's life? Mm-hmm. Yes, for sure. Probably. Yeah, I dude, I would not be surprised, man. I wouldn't be surprised either. I yeah. think I, if I had to guess, was this guy a lone wolf shooter who just didn't like Trump? Or was he part of some intelligence agency plot to get rid of Trump because Trump cannot be controlled? I would vote on the latter, that it was an intelligence agency plot because Trump will not play ball like every other president. You think he he just calls the CIA the next day, just just the the regular like number that's on Google. And Who's just, he? Donald, and he tries to get the like someone to talk it out. I think that's how he does it, dude. He goes, let's let's sit down, let's talk, and then he might he might have to like play ball with them a little bit, like like really. He might like after this move, like they try to kill him, he might want to like play a little ball. Like listen, listen. Ted, CEO of Raytheon, mm-hmm. I won't end the Ukraine war. You can keep sending missiles over there. You can keep killing those Russians, those vodka drunk Russians. I really don't care. <laughs> I don't want any more of your henchmen shooting me in the ear. It was not yeah. nice. It was by my ear. It gave me a nice image. That image is going to be in textbooks for years to come. <laughs> but no more, okay, uh, Ted? Yeah. No more. We can you, keep up some of the wars. Does okay? he mention like uh, like how many like college girls he got that week, though? Listen, I, you know, that's, I was going to be more mad when I walked in here, Ted. But in my SUV, <laughs> in my motorcade, I was getting sucked. By a University of Tennessee co-ed. Big kitties. <laughs> Melania didn't know a thing about it. What a wild time to be alive, man. Dude, it was Truth it was great. Played. It was a special moment, man. We met up with some people who were waving flags on a freeway right mm-hmm. after Trump got shot. Just to stir up patriotism in the people. And it, it felt good. It was, for one day, the world felt like it was coming together. Mm-hmm. It was a lot of love for him on Twitter. NFL players that I like just started coming out of the woodwork, like endorsing Trump. Everybody who was afraid to endorse Trump just moved by patriotic passion mm-hmm. suddenly. Just the was, crazy liberals were like, how do you miss? And like, yeah. like saying crazy shit like that. And it's like, wow, so much for like peace and love and all that that they so-called preach. You know, Either of you have a Twitter. Do you have a Twitter, Fez? I do. Can you give me your phone? Out? Let's make a tweet. Let's put, let's do a patriotic tweet. Let's do it. From oh, Fez. I wonder what Fez, I wonder what the equivalent of a dollar twenty two in your Coinbase account is on Twitter. Like he, yeah. he tweeted once, like, just ate a sandwich. I am full. Yeah, yeah. Maybe even, you should get Twitter blue and try to make even, money that you don't, way. You don't, you don't I don't post? Even type. Perfect. I'll do it. I'll do your first post. Let's see. We had to read his last couple of tweets. Like, yeah, I think one see. might yeah, be yeah. like, just have a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. He was. <laughs> He had mustard he and pickles. Asshole. See you in the gym. All right, it's a woman. That's good. You're talking to chicks on here. This is good. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's what I love about it. He's such a sexual omnivore, dude. Yeah, or this is just like uh, his random page. I don't know what's going on. You don't. You know. You haven't done. You haven't done much here, but we are going to post for you. You think okay. he psyoped us? You think he knew we'd ask for his Twitter and he liked a bunch of chick shit? A hundred percent. He did that, he, that. That's the only thing he's been doing recently. Okay, more girls. Have to be just in case they check. <laughs> <laughs> what, if, what, what if he is like just a, a sexual omnivore? Yeah, maybe. Just, like he's just like too lazy. Mm-hmm. Or maybe some days, Fez, when you're tired, you have trouble opening your eyes. Mm-hmm. And you're just like on a sugar high. He's just like, well, dick or right. pussy, yeah. it doesn't matter. I jerk off to tentacle porn or I suck at dick. I don't even care. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, no, I'm giving you a compliment. I'm I sa- jack off to Ash Ketchum fucking Venusaur. Yeah, you probably would. That's his favorite Pokemon. <laughs> it be careful. is, yeah. Now, yeah be careful. Yeah. Would you jack off to a video of Ash Ketchum fucking Venusaur? No. Yes, you would, dude. No, yeah, I would. If Venusaur, like, and the, Venusaur's the flower, pollen pussy. the flower opened up and Ash Ketchum just jizzed into the flower. <laughs> the flower's in the top, not in the fucking center, you What? Idiot. You don't even know where the asshole is, bitch. <laughs> if, Ash, if Ash Ketchum jizzed in the flower and the flower opened up and it grew a dick and then <laughs> and then like ash ketchum rode the giant venusaur dick would you jerk off to that no that would be sick and wrong. let me see what you got leo i i don't know this is this is wrong but <laughs> <laughs> all right this is good. Well, can we tag it's a good him? Start. It's yeah, too yeah. bad he's, he's still on Truth Social. Yeah. You Donald Trump gets shot, and I feel bad. Can I help him <laughs> with my face as a target for his verga? Did I, you get that, Fez? 
Yeah, kind of. I don't know what the fuck you're saying with Vera. Your I face is a target? I know what a Vera guy is. Your face is a target for yeah, his Yeah, you want Verga? me to put the, his Vera guy, yeah. <laughs> you want me to put his Vera guy, yeah. I'm checking out the tweet. I'm checking out the chick that he liked her tweet. Yeah, yeah. Her, uh, she's a poke, her Pokimane is mm. her... <laughs> Wait, like the streamer Pokimane? Yeah. yeah. Oh, of he course. loves Pokemon. Love Pokemon. Of course, dude. Yeah. I have no idea who she I, is. I have some friends that know her. Does she do Pokemon content? She does Pokemon no. content? No, she oh. just does video game content and she has an OnlyFans. Would you eat her ass? Yes. I, uh... <laughs> that's good. I... Yes. How, how often Poke- do you jack off the Pokemon? Pokemon is hot, man. Yeah! Hell yeah. Is she like there the main girl? Yeah, she's dope. Damn, I, I Leo, does it ever like nothing against Pokemon? She's yeah, killing yeah. the game. Nothing against her. But Leo, does it ever make you mad that there is an economy where people are getting very, very rich mm-hmm. by the chicks just you know, some of them are pretty, but some of them are just, you know, they're whatever. But they dress up like Chun Li. Mm-hmm. They mm-hmm. put on a pound of makeup and three pounds of face filters mm-hmm. and they just like go, ooh. Yeah. They go, ooh. And then they play a video game. And they become millionaires. It's yeah. out of control. Yep. Because guys like Fez I mean, think they're there that she's his girlfriend. You know damn well the first spike on his like dollar twenty in the Bitcoin, he's gonna use it to give it to Pokemon. Because she needs it more than you, right, Fez? Oh, yeah. She's if I oh, give really? her this, you know, or like she might come to me and we might be together. We're gonna <laughs> end up together. I know it. Do you think you're gonna end up with Pokemon? No. Why would you say that? You could. Because if you really I'm wanted nobody. it. No. You're a you know, nobody. I could, I could probably like if you go to TwitchCon, I'm a Twitch partner. I can get you into like the, the partner room, and like there's a chance Pokemon could be there, and you, can, you could confess everything oh to her. God. Fez, what what if Fez tried to like assassin, not assassinate her, but he just went for her, <laughs> mm-hmm. put oh his penis fucking... out, and what yeah. if she had counter snipers and they that are even better than Donald Trump's, and they just shot him dead? She she could. Just... She has. To how does, how does his body guys. fall? On the ground. When she goes on He just more. Have you ever seen a slow mo video of a water balloon getting popped? Oh, oh dude. He just pops? He pops. <laughs> <laughs> dude, but like, I'm just saying, he's completely naked or his dick's just out of like his jeans? <laughs> I like him completely naked. <laughs> he's, he's, completely he's completely naked, naked and oh. he's got one of those. Oh, shit. Like, is it like a Zorro mask where it's just the two <laughs> eye holes? <laughs> He's completely naked. <laughs> and he's got a pokeball, and he's trying to catch her in a pokeball. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fez, how much now. money do we have to give you for you to run into a Macy's with a pokeball completely naked except for a Zorro mask on? Oh how much God. money? How much? No. <laughs> how much? No. Uh, there's some price on that. Yes, there is. There should be. There fucking should be. The way you flipped your hair there was sus. Yeah, that was very... Did you see that? The flip <laughs> of the hair? Leo, I, Rewind. Dude, I mean, Fez, I think Noah so far has been more masculine than you on this podcast. So good. That Fez, was... you hit me with like a Beyonce hair toss. <laughs> you mean this? Yeah, it was fucking... He's failing, baby girl. It was <laughs> Fem. It was fucking sorry. Leo. I would say that the uh, your favorite song, though, in Spanish, what is that lady again? Go, uh, Gloria Trevi. Gloria Trevi. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie that the Gloria Trevi is very popular for for, for gay Latinos. I'm just. I know this for a oh, fact. Gloria, <laughs> would you say that? Would you be honest? Isn't it? No, isn't it a not. well-known thing that the people in the homosexual community and the Latino homosexual no, they community don't. they love Gloria Trevi? They, they're such a. She has an old icon and barely anybody knows any, who she is. Should I ask ChatGPT? <laughs> yeah, ask ChatGPT. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk to ChatGPT again soon. Yeah, we were asking it fun questions too while Leo's doing this. Mm. I asked it. I said, um, my boss took $300 out of my paycheck. And when I asked him why he did it, he said, <laughs> quote, N-word tax. <laughs> Should I report this to HR? We were just asking it questions yes, like that. By the way, yeah. They were like, <laughs> yeah. They said absolutely reported to HR. They did. And then we were like, when we got to HR, everybody was dancing and making monkey noises. And they were throwing bananas at me. Is this problematic? Which is giving fucking chat GPT a heart attack. Dude, I am so right. Okay, yes. what do you got? Gloria Trevi's music is po- quite popular within the gay community <laughs> known as the Mexican Madonna. Trevi has been a prominent figure in Latin pop and rock music since the late 1980s. 
her bold, rebellious persona and her outspoken stance on issues such as gender equality and LGBTQ rights have endeared her to many in the gay community. I was right. God, hell yeah. Gloria Trevi is like very, there's not that many that, that say like, you know, that there were too positive in the Latino community yeah. about the LGBT issue. So he's like, it's like the only one. Yeah. You should tell ChatGPT to go to hell, Fez, because Leo didn't come up with that. ChatGPT. Sure. Did. All of you should go to hell. Stop, Fez. That is not very nice. We are trying to make you a better person and <laughs> less are. gay. Instead of insulting ChatGPT, why don't you buy some Microsoft stock? Yes, I will. No. <laughs> maybe, uh, no. Maybe no. Why not? Why, the, why no Microsoft stock? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Somebody yelled no and then became think, a coward. That's what I thought. Yeah, I think that I think you should try to live in this household for like 500 bucks a month, like in like a closet and <laughs> like you, Harry Potter. Yeah. And then you could just <laughs> you could always pop out when we need you. Do you think do you think, Fez, that you're a modern day Harry Potter that right now you have to no. live with a construction worker in a house in the valley? But that someday no. I think Fez thinks yeah. I think Fez thinks like Enrique Iglesias at his prime. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna come guy. knock on Fez's door. Handsome guy. With just he's gonna be wearing a bow tie yeah. and a leather vest unbuttoned. Yeah. And his abs are gonna be oiled up, and Enrique Iglesias is gonna be like Enrique I'm gonna king, take king, king, king. you away. <laughs> and then he's gonna take him to an island of just big buff Latina men. Yeah. Latino men who are just gonna fuck his ass and yeah. play Pokemon with him all day. <laughs> <laughs> Fez, would that is that just <laughs> that's a great vision? Yeah, nice. it's a good vision. Fez, is that Enrique your, Iglesias Jr. Bro, wow. Is that your letter to Hogwarts? Is no. Enrique showing up at your house? No, I wouldn't. Wow, Fez, bro. if you really could, just like not have to worry about a job, and you could just go to an island with buff Latino men who fucked you in the ass, fuck you, and you play Pokemon all day, <laughs> and you got to have a Squirtle. Yeah. What if you got a Squirtle? Enrique Iglesias, man. Come yeah, on. What if you got a real handsome. life Squirtle? What if Squirtle was like your best friend there and Squirtle would like shoot Jeez. you off after they gave First you a money shot? I'm going to buy your nuts off. Wow. I'm not okay. going to be there. I'm going to be. But like, what if like you Fizz. What if you had jizz all over your face and Squirtle was like, Squirtle. And he Squirt, cleaned Squirtle your face. Squirtle cleaned you off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he would, give you an, he would give you an enema so you don't get yeah, shit yeah, on yeah, any of yeah. the Latino <laughs> men's dicks. We, Enrique would be like, Fez, we are going to Bukaki all over you, but Squirtle you will have to lubricate you. Gross. You have your own personal real squirtle. And it will clean you up. And think, Fez, seriously, what about a Blastoise? If you had a Blastoise, you could put one of the cannons up your ass. Oh, God. Completely clean you out for Enrique. <laughs> and it would feel good in its own right. <laughs> would you let Blastoise fucking anima your asshole? No. Do you, would you like to get it clean my Blastoise? I'm the guy who asked the questions. And I did once. This is one of the more embarrassing moments of my life. I was in Santa Barbara. And me and my buddy Chris... We're hanging. It was my sister's basketball tournament. It were like in fifth grade. I fucking worked my asshole up onto one of the jets. Oh no! And I was letting a jet go right up my fucking asshole. Oh shit! <laughs> and it like it like What's wrong with you, it, dude. Man? So there was presumably there was some shit up my ass. No. And the jet just turned it into liquid. <laughs> no. Because for the next. Day and a half, I was just I was pissing out of my asshole. Oh, this is the worst story ever. <laughs> all the hot tub, the jet, like first of all, a bunch of water was stored up my ass, oh, but it also had had stewed the shit down oh. into a soup, and so that's what I was pooping. But I, I thought I was off scot free, you know, it didn't prolapse my anus. But fucking my my, you know, my relatively conservative but nice dad. But you know, you don't want your dad to know you're doing stuff like that. No. Me and Chris Fabian, oh, no. we're going paintballing one Once day. Once again, full name. Huh? Yeah, well, I mean, he didn't do anything in this story. He, yeah, still, he's he's involved in a story that involves a jet in your asshole. He's, he's uh, Chris Fabian. I think, maybe the guy has a corporate job. Somewhere. No, he doesn't. This guy's working as a stockbroker. He's a mountain man. man. He's a mountain man. Chris nice. Fabian lives, he lives in Mendocino County, and he's like a fisherman, dude. He's good. That's dope. But he, uh, we were just like going out to go play, play paintball. And Chris Fabian's like, oh, it's going to be a nice day out there. We're going to have some fun. Hey, Danny, remember when you let a jet go up your asshole in Santa Barbara? Oh. Just super loud in front of my dad. No. <laughs> you just what did that you say? Quick. I don't know. I just backed. And my dad was like, Danny, you could really damage yourself doing stuff like that. <laughs> How old were you? Like fifth grade. You were in fifth oh. grade when he when he, he said how you could damage yourself? There was only that? about six months apart between the incident and the telling. 
did you, do you think your dad, I mean, you know, I don't know. He's, he's pretty open, but do you think like he might've thought you were gay at that point for a little bit? Crossed his Yeah, mind. but he knows I'm not now. <sighs> <Yeah>. <sighs> what if he follows along and has like a tally every time that you talk about getting pussy on the podcast? And he's like, you know, you know, honey, I think he's doing pretty well this month. <laughs> you think a dad takes pride in his son's sexual conquest? Just like a dad who has yeah. sons are hitting homers at a baseball game. I remember as a kid still uh, when my dad would talk to like there was a guy, a kid, a guy from New York in Little League. And he straight up was talking like this in front of me. I was t- maybe 11 years old after a baseball game. He's like, oh, you have no idea. My son goes to NYU. He's getting so much fucking tail. This kid every week, he shows me a new one of these little bitches. He's fucking piping down. That's fucking crazy. My dad's like, oh, yeah. NYU. Yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, your son's. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's fucking fantastic. They're like talking about this guy's college son. who's getting a, a bunch of pussy. The, that sounds like an idea for a sketch yeah. where there's a big Italian dad. He thinks his son's getting a ton of pussy. But the mm. first problem there is NYU is not known as a pussy school. No. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, my son, this kid gets so much tail. He's in the theater program at NYU. <laughs> you know, he's got like this little backpack with Tinkerbell on it. But it's, <laughs> it's like a Trojan horse. You know, it's a Trojan horse to get in there. You know, he's got yeah. like he's wearing these tight pants and his wrists are kind of limp. But that's because they yeah. got him typing on the computers all day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, he's on this new app called Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you're getting like it, it's a private app for guys who get tons of pussy, I think yeah. is what. It's just yeah. more and more suspect <laughs> traits, this kid. Wait, I think your son's a fucking gay. <laughs> yeah, NYU is... No, yeah. I feel like but, no... That's a, that's a sign that your son might be gay if he this, goes to NYU. Yeah, for sure. But there was a uh, regular conversation like that from, like, you know, dads that were more, like, inner city types, you know? Uh, I don't know, but it's it's probably in, in the Latino community and the Italian community, it's probably popular to talk about your son getting a lot of pussy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fez, you better have a son so you can get him some pussy. You yeah, gonna just, teach him how, Fez? No. <sighs> what do you? How do you think your father describes you to people that go, "You have a son. What is, what is he like? What do you think he I says?" Know, if you were your, be your father right now for a second. What? Be your father right now for a second. Okay. okay. Just right now, just in character. What does your father do for a living? It was a marine. Okay. He was. A is marine. he alive? Probably dead. Really? Probably. Was he a U.S. marine? I don't know. All right, so he was a U.S. Marine. Wait, no, wait. How do you not know he was a U.S. Marine? How do you, if you know he was a Marine, you should know what country he fought for. Or was he like the Marine equivalent in Nicaragua? Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I mean, there was a lot of conflicts back in those days. But is he a Nicaraguan guy? Yes. Okay. Well, you said he was a Marine, so I don't know. I think he thinks Marine is just like anybody who works in the armed forces and anywhere. And like, is you, uh, Fez, let me ask you this. In. Zimbabwe, are there Marines? No. Are they? <laughs> Maybe if there's a base, by chance, but I doubt it. It's possible. We it's keep, possible. We keep shit under control in Africa. So right, that's, whatever. That's whatever. So, Fez, is it is it a sad subject? Do you not like talking about your dad? No. You don't like talking about him? No. Oh, oh I'm He's sorry, Fez. To me, so. He's dead. To really? Me. Oh. Sorry, Fez. Just like Ashley Transdale is dead to Noah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And my dad is dead. I'm sorry. Oh, that's sad. Damn. I'm sorry, Fez. I didn't mean to like just say something that your your dad's probably proud of you, man. He probably thinks you're really witty and doing, you know, you're working hard, and he thinks, you know, he loves you probably no matter what, wherever he is. Well, he knows you fucking handled it in Death Valley, so that's pretty good. Hey, he knows. Uh, maybe he shows <laughs> that video to a bunch of people, like the guy, like the, uh, like the two, <laughs> like the two cops and. And super bad when they're just like showing Fogel <laughs> getting punched. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that that's just evident. He's like you he's probably using it to try to get pussy. He's like, look at my son, man, just smacking a guy. Well, I think uh we're almost at two hours, right, Osti? Okay. Well, in conclusion, mm-hmm. Fez is just keep getting scammed, Fez. It's always material for us. Yeah. <laughs> Noah, welcome back to being a man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Some people would say you never left. You just took vitamins and wore a dress sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then very, very manly pull, behavior. Pull yeah. your penis a little bit, you know, a couple times a week. It is uh, well known to add about a half an inch. Stretch it. Yeah, stretch it. Stretch it. And uh, you could see Hunter Biden doing it in a video. He yeah. He stretches his penis. Oh. He, he doesn't look like he needs to, dude. It's no, nice, it's nice pretty solid. Yeah. It's a nice cock, dude. Mm-hmm. Hunter, Hunter Biden's got a nice cock. Yep. Many and, years of stretching. Mm-hmm. Right. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. So would you, stretch would it you out. still blow Hunter Biden? I st- no what? Well, no. Fucking, you, you were trying to get Leo and I to fuck you in the ass six yeah, months ago. Come on, 
<laughs> if he offered me <laughs> like millions of dollars, I'll blame it on the e- e- estrogen. Yeah, um, sure. She's a cruel mistress. You should put out a song called "Blame It on the Estrogen." All right, guys. Well, it's been the Leo and Danny show. Yup.